Good afternoon, 3 o'clock at KSL News Radio. I'm Jeff Kaplan, 66 and Sunshine in Salt Lake City. KSL's top story an update on the woman who died after a pit bull attack in Taylorsville. Her son is now facing criminal charges. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe joining us live with the latest. Amy? Jeff, seven counts of attacks by animal. These are all misdemeanor charges. 38 year old Jeremy Miller is charged with essentially being liable for the animals. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says that carries possible jail time, but. But it's unlikely that a person would do jail time for a, a, a dog charge, to be honest with you. The fact that a death occurred is horrific. Scordis says the fact that the man's mother died in the attack may also impact any potential jail time because a judge could see that as just a punishment itself. The woman passed away a week after the attack in October. Officers had to shoot one of the dogs while trying to help the woman and get the dogs away. The six others were put down by animal control. Reporting live, Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. Thanks, Amy. A change in the way sexual assault is investigated with the Utah National Guard. When soldiers or airmen are accused, the investigation is now going to be handled by the State Department of Public Safety. Before this, such cases were taken care of by local law enforcement. One brigadier general says it was a nightmare filled with long delays. Draper is having a problem not, not with peeping Tums, but with peeping drones. Several instances of a drone loitering near people's windows have been reported there. Lieutenant Mike Elkins told Dave and Dujanovic this morning, this is a hard case to track down. Trying to catch them, I mean, you can imagine there's that dot in the sky going overhead. We try to follow and see where it goes. Yeah. It's extremely difficult. At this point, Elkins says there's no way of knowing what the intent of the drone operator was. The White House is taking the latest bird flu outbreak seriously. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, new cases of bird flu have forced the country's largest egg producer to stop production of plants in Texas and Michigan. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the administration is keeping a close eye on it. The CDC has said the risk to human health uh, from this outbreak is low. They are continuing to monitor and will continue to coordinate with relevant agencies. The administration is also monitoring the outbreak's economic impact. Senator Bernie Sanders says that he's working with the president to lower drug prices and improve access to medications for consumers who can't afford them. Some of them will die as a result. Others get much sicker than they should and they end up in emergency rooms or they end up in hospitals. He says lowering prices will also lower the overall cost of health care for taxpayers. An American tourist was killed when an aggressive elephant attacked a vehicle during a safari in Zambia. The bull elephant charged the vehicle, overturning it over the weekend. An 80-year-old woman died from her injuries. Severe storms resulted in a string of tornadoes across Kentucky. Governor Andy Beshear declaring a state of emergency. We may well be looking at seven plus different tornadoes that have touched down. Certainly a number of counties impacted. One person was killed. And the strongest earthquake to hit Taiwan in 25 years has left nine dead and trapped dozens of miners. The 7.4 magnitude quake also injured more than 900 people. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. They're trying to open a shipping channel in order to clean up the key bridge in Baltimore. Work crews have to clear the twisted girders off the bow of that ship. The bow of the Dali container ship is sitting under hundreds of tons of twisted bridge wreckage that will have to be removed before the ship can be floated away. In order to do that, says U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath. We need to lift those undamaged containers off to give us space to safely operate, to begin to plan to remove portions of the bridge that are also now embedded into the ship. Gilruth says crews are now staged to begin lifting the first of the undamaged containers off the ship. Dave Packer, ABC News. Chaos on News Time 304. You might not know, but on the western shore of the Great Salt Lake, Boeing tests nuclear missile systems. And despite their problems with commercial jetliners, they're going to continue doing it on a remote thousand-acre patch of land on the other side of the lake, Boeing has just been awarded a new $400 million nuclear missile contract. 7200 West in Salt Lake City could be closing for the next two years. 
KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla here. The city is considering the closure because of illegal dumping. The area from I-80 to 1300 South is covered in trash, bulky items, and even hazardous waste. Salt Lake Transportation and Public Service officials tell KSL.com the closure would deter dumping and allow for a thorough cleanup. The city would install some kind of gate at both sides of the street, allowing access to Rio Tinto and waste management employees. KSL News Time 3.05 on an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Ricky Meese is here. First look traffic. Did everybody play hooky? No, I think so. It's so pretty outside. That's sunshine. That's addicting. But right now, we do have a message from North Salt Lake. The city says we have a road closure due to a downed power line at Center Street and Main Street. They're asking everyone to avoid the area, otherwise crash-free on all the Valley freeways. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. So you're getting excited about the eclipse? Don't. My minute's on the way next. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. Please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221. Or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. Every year, we seem to have a few people trying to get our free furnace promotion after the sale has ended. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and I know you want to save as much money as you can, but that's not how sales work. When they're over, they're over. Lucky for you, we still have a few more spots on our schedule we need to fill, so I'm extending the sale, but I'm not quite sure for how much longer. Definitely no later than April 30th. And once I think our schedule's full enough, I gotta pull these ads. So don't wait too long to call and schedule your free estimate. Just to recap, when you have any hour services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. The furnace is free, you just pay the labor. So if your furnace and air conditioner are ready to be replaced, don't be one of those people that wishes they had called and taken advantage of our free furnace sale. The estimate's free, and we'll make sure you have all of the information you need to decide if our free furnace sale is right for you. If you think you might be interested, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, Electrical Plumbing, Heating, and Air, AnyHourServices.com. Are we allowed to get excited about somebody else's solar eclipse? Because this one is not ours. Here in Salt Lake on Monday, only 48% of the sun will be covered. Compared to the last one, it's barely going to get darker. Remember the one in 2017? Almost all of the sun was covered. The sky visibly darkened. The shadows of the tree leaves looked like half moons. The birds went quiet. The dinosaurs reappeared. Or maybe that didn't happen. I don't remember. 2017 was a long time ago. We had a KSL eclipse party with those janky eclipse glasses from China. The highlight for me, Doug Wright interviewing my little granddaughter. Now, let's see. Alexa, how old are you right now? I am seven. You're seven? Yeah. Alexa just got a job. 2017 was a long time ago, but I remember my relatives back east didn't care one bit about our eclipse. I mean, I was all excited, and they were like, oh, That's nice. This time, the state of New York gets totality, and back east in the media capital of the world, New York can't stop telling us about it, even obsessing over the prison inmates who aren't permitted to see it. A group of inmates have sued New York's Department of Corrections for the right to view Monday's solar eclipse because the eclipse is a religious event. Here in Utah, we did let our inmates see the eclipse, but as far as the national media is concerned, our eclipse didn't even happen. So as the hours tick toward Monday and eclipse mania reaches fever pitch, don't succumb to the hype. I mean, they're selling Krispy Kreme Eclipse donuts. And at a well-known pizza joint, they're offering a special total eclipse of the hut.
Look, it'll be worth a glimpse right before lunch Monday, but all the ooing and eyeing will be in Dallas, Cleveland, and for goodness sakes, Buffalo. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. This one's not ours. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's <laughs> Dino Pay app. Is it going to be one of those days where I can't talk? I Sa- hope not. <laughs> All right, save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Mees. Well, we began with fire crews on the scene of a fire in South Jordan, 90th South at about 10th West, and that could impact traffic in the area. If you are headed southbound on I-15, it's a beautiful day for a drive, but traffic already building, filling in and slowing down between 53rd and 7200 South. After that, you're good to go all the way to Provo. On the northbound side of I-15, around 7200 South, up to the south interchange. We do have crews over to the right shoulder. It looks like a disabled vehicle. Looking good on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. Steve? We still may have a road closure due to a down power line in North Salt Lake at Center Street and Main Street, so avoid that area for now. Otherwise, uh, no wrecks or slowdowns yet. Traveling I-15 between downtown Salt Lake City and Brigham got good speeds and normal KSL travel time. So far, so good up here on the 215 West Belt and Legacy this afternoon. A picture kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Plenty of sunshine today with temperatures near 60 degrees. Gets even warmer on Wednesday. Sunshine and 70 in Salt Lake City. Partly cloudy south winds and 73 on Thursday. Valley rain, mountain snow, and a cool down will move in for Friday, Saturday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. We're at 66 degrees in Salt Lake City. Well, they've revealed the venues for the 2034 Winter Olympics here, and there's a big surprise. Stay right here. We have all the details in a few moments. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. 12 minutes after 3. Happy Wednesday, everybody. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has been protecting farmers and ranchers season after season. You need to know you're covered and you've got somebody covering your back. You've got local people that everybody knows. And we have a good policy and a good agent, and I guess that's what you need to be able to sleep at night. Loyal, local, and rooted in ag for over 80 years. Learn more at fbfs.com slash rooted in ag. It's your future. Let's protect it. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Hewitt, yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Tim and Amanda. Yes, KSL is a trusted institution. I mean, it's a hundred-year-old institution, and I know that with that legacy comes a responsibility and a trust. But I want you to know, we have diverse voices at this radio station. Young people, we have people of all different ages, of all different cultural backgrounds, who put their two cents into what stories we cover from day to day, a voice that is given to those stories. When I've been kicking around the Salt Lake City market for 
40 years. I felt like I needed a decade of radio under my belt before I even attempted to climb that mountain. So as important as KSL is to you, you need to know that it's an important institution for both of us and something that we take very seriously in the responsibility of providing the right news and information for you and your families every day and carrying on the tradition of this great radio station. Utah's Morning News, between 5 and 9 on KSL News Radio. Well, here we are, KSL News Time 315. The three things you need to know this hour first. The man whose pit bulls attacked his mom in her backyard, leading to her death, is now charged. He's facing several misdemeanors of attacks by animal. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe. Second, if you have anyone coming in from the East Coast today, weather is delaying thousands of flights there. Biggest delays are in New York and Chicago. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. We are seeing some delays setting in on southbound I-15 in Salt Lake County. The usual spots, Murray to Midvale. But that's it. The rest of your Salt Lake County freeways look good, as well as I-15 in Weber, Davis, and Utah counties. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Today we'll see our first 70-degree day of the season with ample sunshine. I'm Matt Johnson. 66 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Michelle Franzen. Days after Israeli airstrikes killed seven humanitarian workers, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu facing growing criticism from abroad and at home. Israeli War Cabinet member Benny Gantz and Netanyahu's rival now calling for new elections in September. Gantz says the priority for Israel is freeing Hamas held hostages and says strategic relations with the U.S. must not be harmed. The White House says President Biden and Netanyahu will speak tomorrow. Israel issuing a rare and sweeping mea culpa for strikes that accidentally killed seven aid workers in Gaza. The prime minister, defense minister and head of the Israeli army all taking responsibility, expressing sorrow and vowing a thorough investigation. IDF chief Herzi Alevi says soldiers misidentified the convoy as carrying a Hamas militant and called in drone strikes. Jordana Miller, ABC News, Jerusalem. NATO marking 75 years since the military alliance was formed, foreign ministers, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken in Brussels, gathering for commemorations. He says NATO is meeting new threats by adapting together. Let us together protect all we built in 75 years under NATO's shield and ensure that it remains strong to keep building for the next 75 years. And well beyond that. that includes Russia's attacks on Ukraine. President Zelensky today signing a law that lowers the conscription age from 27 to 25 in an effort to mobilize more people. You could end up paying more for your checked bags on JetBlue with new peak pricing. The way it'll work on JetBlue is on busy days, the price of a first checked bag will be $50. Not so busy days, 35 bucks. Those peak days, though, appear to be about half of the year, including all through the summer and around Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you notify JetBlue on its website that you plan to check a bag 24 hours before your flight, you get a $10 discount. ABC's Alex Stone. You're listening to ABC News. And now the in-depth on KSL, the Salt Lake. Utah Olympic Committee has revealed the specific venues where the 2034 Winter Games would take place. And we have a few surprises for you this afternoon. Joining us live, Deseret News reporter Lisa Riley Roche. So take us through this afternoon's announcement. Well, it's, it's some of it's a surprise for sure, Jeff. Uh, but some of it will look very familiar to those of us that remember the 2002 Winter Olympics here in Salt Lake City. What this is, is the proposed venues for our 2034 Winter Games. As you know, next week, the IOC is sending a delegation out to uh, inspect those venues firsthand. And the uh, bid committee is putting out some new information uh, to the public about specifically what will happen where in 2004 should we end up with the uh, with the games as many expect. The, the biggest change I think on the list is uh, curling, believe it or not, which had been held at the uh, Weaver Ice Sheet in Ogden and will now be moved to the uh, Salt Palace Convention Center. The reason for that, I'm told, is that the um, curling uh, sport has become more popular. They need more seats for spectators than are available at the uh, 
Weber County Ice Sheet, and because that's primarily used uh, by the community, rather than invest in adding a bunch of seats that probably wouldn't be used after an Olympics, they'll build a temporary ice rink and uh, seating at the uh, Salt Palace. Speaking which, of, of course, ice, as in 2002, will be used for the media center as well. So, as far as ice goes, figure skating the Delta Center. That's my wild guess. Yes, yes. Pretty much everything else is is familiar on uh, figure skating uh, and and ice ice hockey at the Maverick Center in the Peaks Ice Arena in Provo. Another another change is all of the alpine skiing events will be held at Snow Basin uh, in Huntsville, and Park City and Deer Valley uh, will lose those events but gain some of the uh, newer sports. An- another big one, uh, no pun intended is the big air event, right? The big air uh, snowboard jump. And that will be a temporary facility as well, uh, planned for Block 85 in downtown Salt Lake City. Wait, so the big air, wait, this is important. The big air is going to be downtown where they shoot 160 feet into the air? Yes. Uh, Big air is typically a temporary facility because it's a big jump for the snowboarders and it's it's and we've seen big air competitions in all kinds of places including interestingly enough major league baseball stadiums so should we get a major league baseball stadium that that could well be uh, well be moved but this plan is for what what the bid can deliver at this point and right now that would be block one, uh, block 85 that was the site of the nightly medal ceremonies in 2002. Oh my gosh. Thanks and so much. We have to run here and get to traffic, but I appreciate the top line details about what's coming, what, 10 years from now, right? A decade. It'll go fast. Okay. If you say so, Deseret News reporter Lisa Riley Roche, we really appreciate the news. It's 321. We have traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Traffic already building and it's slowing down southbound I-15 between 53rd and 72nd South. And that's for Salt Lake County drivers. But the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways are clear. A little bit of heavy and slow traffic either direction of Bangor Highway approaching the SR201 Junction. I-15 in Utah County looking good both directions between the Point and Provo with normal KSL travel time. Steve? A little bit of scattered slowing on southbound Foothill Drive right now between 13th and 21st South. Otherwise, uh, north and southbound I-15 rolling at the full speed limit right now between downtown and Brigham City. All clear and steady speeds if you're on the 215 West Belt, Legacy, or Highway 89 in South Weaver. When you choose Performance Automotive and Bountiful, you're choosing exceptional service from four dealers. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country. See PerformanceBountiful.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with beautiful spring weather. 70 degrees today, sunny skies. Tomorrow's partly cloudy, 73 and breezy out of the south. 60 with a chance for thunder showers on Friday, also breezy. Dropping it off to 46, a little chilly on Saturday with a chance for rain, snow showers. 50 mostly cloudy on Sunday, goes 55 on Monday. Hey, before you know it, we're back to mostly sunny skies and a high of 60 degrees next Tuesday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, 66 degrees. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check the business news and the market close in just a moment. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. You hear me talk about advanced window products here on KSL. If you thought, you know, maybe we should get new windows and frames. You give the house a new look, any style, any color. You lower your energy bills, but, but, but you're on the fence. 
well, some advice here. Make the call today. Get a quote. There's no obligation. The reason to call now, $2,500 off 10 windows or more. And second, Advanced Window Products is now working about eight weeks out. Once everybody gets outside, they see their shadow. Advanced gets a ton of calls, and you're looking at a long wait for the highest quality double-pane windows and custom frames. Make the call because at Advanced Window Products, you're buying local. They'll build your windows at their factory here in Utah. Their employees do the installation and they guarantee your new windows for life and you've reinvested in your number one asset, your home. They offer 0% financing and buy now, pay later. So call now. Advanced Window Products, 801-850-9100. It's 801-850-9100 or visit advancedwindowsusa.com. It's spring and it feels good. Sunny and 71 on Thursday. Glorious. It's the warm before the storm. By Saturday, it's cold enough that we could see the rain transitioning to snow, even for valleys. Well, for a couple of days anyway. Get a reliable KSL forecast for this week and conference weekend every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. That song is so happy. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Everybody's expecting an interest rate cut in June. Well, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says not so fast to the question that everyone asks, when are you cutting rates? He says the Fed's in no hurry until they see solid signs of the economy cooling off a bit. Maverick has rebranded 30 come-and-go convenience stores in Utah and Colorado. They're now Mavericks. The company bought Come and Go last year. KSL.com reporting that next, Maverick might expand into the Midwest. Computer chips for AI are all the rage on Wall Street, but Intel wasn't invited to the party. The company has announced it suffered a $7 billion operating loss last year. Intel stock was down 8% today. A uh, mixed market, though, on Wall Street. The Dow is down 43. It closed at 39,127. The S&P was up five points, and the NASDAQ bounced back a bit, gaining 37. You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, oh, that's going to take half a day and then two weeks later. The bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quinn. They do everything that has to do with electrical. And they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. And now another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. Marcus, what happened? I was changing my oil and I spilled some on the floor. Oh, we'll use these $50 bills to wipe it up. Perfect. Got any more? Yeah, yeah, take a couple hundred. Stop. Instead of using money, use an old rag. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. My doctor told me my cholesterol is borderline. So I took control with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula. Garlic helps maintain healthy cholesterol safely and naturally. It's odor and taste free. And Garlic is a world leader in garlic potency. I'm taking charge of my cholesterol with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula, cholesterol's natural enemy. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The term natural reference is only the garlic in the product. Use as directed. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Pop the sunroof and listen to Ricky Meese. So far, so good on your Salt Lake County freeways. No accidents, but we do have some traffic slowing down. It's southbound I-15 as you go from 53rd South Murray to 72nd South Midvale. And you're looking at a good drive on I-15 in Utah County. If you're taking a nice, beautiful drive in the higher elevations, good speeds, no problems on I-80 in Parley's Bigger Little Cottonwood Canyon 
or Highway 189 Provo Canyon. Steve? Scattered slowing now on South Pond Foothill Drive between Sunnyside and 21st South. A sunny drive if you're on uh, I-15 on the north end, rolling at uh, 70 miles an hour between downtown Salt Lake and Bullock Bay. A bit thick northbound, approaching 5600 south in Roy. Can't find any crashes or problems on 215's West Belt or the Legacy Parkway so far. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale starting at just $39 a foot. Visit bedrockquartz.com. That's bedrockquartz.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll go for ample sunshine today with a high of 70 degrees, our first on the season. Breezy for tomorrow. We'll go 73, partly cloudy skies, then a chance for thunder showers on Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Ogden, 64 in sunshine, the gentlest of breezes in Provo. It's 64 in St. George, just a skosh warmer. It's 73 degrees. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 3:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. It's 66 degrees. KSL's top story after the illegal demolition of the historic Fifth Ward Meeting House. Salt Lake City Council wants to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe reports. Council member Eva Lopez Chavez was clear on her feelings about the demolition. It is insidious, truly. And she wasn't the only one to express outrage. One public commenter, Jim Webster, says it's a tragedy. My feeling personally is that we're far too lax, that we have given the green light to too many developers, and they feel like there's, they'd much rather ask forgiveness and pay the price if necessary. And it seems that the council agrees. They're looking at several changes. One would be an amendment to keep developers from knocking down a historic building before approval. And if they broke that rule, they'd be barred from developing anything else on the property for 25 years. Another amendment is looking at steeper fines for violations. Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. Rocky Mountain Power has decided to burn that coal. The electric company has released a new resource plan that keeps its coal-burning power plants open for as long as an extra decade. The original plan called for the two plants to shut down within eight years. Make that 12 years for one plant, 18 years for the other. Under this same plan, Rocky Mountain is ditching its plan to quadruple the amount of power generated by wind and solar. The Utah Court of Appeals is deciding whether sexual assault that happened back in 1996 can be prosecuted. The defendant claims the statute of limitations should keep him from being prosecuted, but the state argues the case wasn't reported till 2021. The victim reported a crime of 25 years after it's supposed to have occurred. I mean, she was 13 at the time. She reported it when she was 38. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says this case would be easier to prosecute today because there's no longer a statute of limitations on sexual assault involving children. The Federal Reserve chair is signaling interest rates could soon come down. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the Federal Reserve Chair says it will soon be appropriate to cut interest rates. In a speech at Stanford University, Jerome Powell also said the Fed's interest rate decisions would not be affected by the presidential election. The Biden administration is leaning on Congress to extend a program that has offset the cost of home Internet access for more than 20 million low-income households. Money for the program has run out. The program's going away, and people are going to lose that lifeline. White House advisor Tom Perez says the funding is hung up in the GOP-controlled House. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is headed to China to ease tensions between the world's two largest economies. Yellen will be advocating for American businesses, expanding cooperation between the two economies, and discussing climate change. And foreign ministers, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, are in Brussels to mark 75 years of NATO. Even as our alliance changes, its purpose remains enduring. Ours is a defensive alliance. It's never had, and it never will have, designs on the territory of any other country. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was founded in 1949 as collective protection against aggression from the Soviet Union. There are more than 30 member countries now on both sides of the Atlantic. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. Wendy's learned its lesson about dynamic pricing for hamburgers. 
We're going to see if JetBlue can get away with dynamic pricing for your baggage. The way it'll work on JetBlue is on busy days, the price of a first checked bag will be $50. Not so busy days, $35. Those peak days will appear to be about half of the year, including all through the summer and around Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you notify JetBlue on its website that you plan to check a bag 24 hours before your flight, you get a $10 discount. ABC's Alex Stone there. Amazon is laying off workers in its cloud computing division. Several hundred people will lose their jobs in sales, marketing, and global services worldwide. Amazon has already reduced the workforce by 27,000 employees. Meantime, in some areas, they say, they're still hiring. Out of nowhere, a 17-year-old bountiful boy suffered a heart attack. Fortunately, a highly trained expert was in the right place at the right time. That was Chief Nursing Officer Tiffany Bears who was on her way home when she saw Braden Erland on the floor surrounded by his friends. Erland was breathing when she found him, but as she gave info to the emergency operator, she noticed he stopped breathing. That's when she delivered chest compressions until EMS arrived. Bears told me she doesn't want kudos for this story, but hopes it's a good reminder that CPR can save lives. Anyone who has the option to learn CPR, do it. You never know when it's going to come in handy. We should have those skills so we can help and jump in. She also hopes people will remember to step up and be there for each other. Erland is at Primary Children's ICU waiting for a pacemaker. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Weber State plans to upgrade the flaming W on the mountainside above campus. They're going to replace the electric bulbs with solar panels that power brand new energy efficient purple and white lights. By the way, the flaming W, no, it's not on fire. Flaming is a description of the font used for the Weber W. Chaos on News Time 336. Ricky, did you know that? I did not. And now you do. Tell <laughs> us do. about the traffic. Well, we're hearing that a, a stretch of 10th East will be closed tomorrow, starting at 7 a.m. until 5 o'clock in Sugar House. So Sugar House drivers, heads up. It's going to be closed for basically the entire work day. You need to plan accordingly. Uh, they need to work on some irrigation uh, work in that area. And they're suggesting that the alternate access would be Hollywood Avenue or Lincoln Street. But again, and that's 10th East. That's going to be closed starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Just saying, great night to fire up the grill. Stay here. My Minute's on the way. Next. The KSL News Radio Movie Show comes to My Hearing Centers this Friday from 10 to 1. But first, discover what My Hearing Centers can do for you. My Hearing Centers uses advanced technology to diagnose and treat hearing loss. These comprehensive evaluations determine the best treatment options. Then enjoy lifetime support with regular check ins, cleaning, and maintenance. Call My Hearing Centers at 801 701 1629. 801 701 1629 for more details. My Hearing Centers has offices from Ogden to St. George. Looking for a secure retirement plan without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show and call him now at 855-355-SAFE for your complimentary customized Safe Money information kit and Safe Money book. Nothing but upside here at 855 355- 355 SAFE. Business. It's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these companies is a partner helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup and the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide all choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round the clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business, the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. See why Comcast Business powers more small businesses than anyone else. Get started with fast speeds and advanced security for $49.99 a month for 12 months with a two-year contract. Plus, ask how to get up to an $800 prepaid card with a qualifying internet package. Don't wait. Call or go online to switch today. Ends 5524. Restrictions apply. New customers only with 50 megabits per second internet and security edge. Eagle Bill and auto pay required. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. We have a couple nice days here. Guys, perfect night to fire up the grill. And I mentioned guys because in 85% of American households, it's the male holding the spatula. The man is the grill master. 
But why? It's not a caveman thing. Eons ago, those handsome fellas would bring home the kill and the cave ladies would do the cooking. Some theorize men learned to grill out of necessity on the battlefield. Sounds manly enough, but truth is, cooking was considered women's work till the 1920s. Enter Henry Ford, who had sawdust and wood scraps all over the floor of his car factories, so he did a deal to turn the sawdust into charcoal briquettes. Next, he started selling grills and charcoal along with his cars. Cars bought almost always by men who go home and get to play with fire. By the 1950s, the male of the species was lord of the barbecue, as explained over a backyard grill on Leave it to Beaver. Whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, you know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Now, don't shoot the messenger. But some historians say that in the kitchen, women cooked using ovens with thermostats. The recipes were precise. 350 degrees for 20 minutes, like that. But out back, it was like the jungle. No thermostat. Cooking by looking? Uh, that looks about done. Better to be in the kitchen preparing side dishes and desserts. Now, the historians who explain this are men who are slowly ceding the tongs to their mates. An Ipsos survey shows that over the last five years, the number of women serving as family grill masters has doubled to 34%. All you beleaguered American males who think the world is closing in on you, they're coming for your tongs. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Slow down southbound I 15 in Salt Lake County, 53rd to 72nd. And then that's it. You're right back to good speeds from 90th South Sandy all the way to Provo. I 215's belt route around the valley, I 80 to the east, the 201 to the west all clear. Bangor Highway seeing some delays and it's in both directions as you're approaching the 201 junction. Steve? Looks like we have slowdowns building right now. This is northbound uh, 15 approaching the uh, 215 uh, interchange up there. Apparently KSL traffic troopers saying there's some kind of debris on the road, some kind of asphalt debris in the uh, North Salt Lake area. So watch out for that. That's causing those delays. After you get past that, you've got good speeds up to Brigham City. Spend time with the ones you love and the most unique dining experiences in Utah, Five Alls Restaurant. Five stars, five courses, full of history and tradition, open Wednesday through Saturday. Visit FiveAlls.com. Steve Carlson at the KSL Traffic Center. Well, for the first time since last November, we'll hit 70 degrees with sunny skies this afternoon. Overnight dipping off to 50. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-70s, and breezy out of the south. Then a cold front expected with thunder showers on Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, I want to check because if it's any higher, no, we're still at 66 degrees. We're streaming online at kslnewsradio.com. You can catch us on the KSL News Radio app anytime. This is Utah's news traffic and weather station. Introducing Peach Doors and Windows. Are you ready to upgrade your home with stunning new windows but are overwhelmed with how to begin? Look no further than Peach Windows. You know at Peach, they are all about giving you options. Peach offers a wide selection of wood windows, sleek modern black metal frames, European tilt and turn windows, plus much, much more. It's not just about looks, it's about durability and security to protect what matters most. Let them help you find the perfect match for your home, budget, and personal style. Visit their showroom and see for yourself. No pushy sales tactics, only guidance from their experienced staff. No inflated markups just to offer so-called discounts. See their five-star reviews where customers rate them on their attention to detail through every step of the sale and installation process. Amazing home transformations begin with windows and doors. Serving Logan to St. George, just Google Peach Building to see for yourself. Do you worry about how much someone drinks? Do you feel angry or depressed most of the time? Do you feel neglected or unloved? Do you feel you attract people who tend to be compulsive or abusive? Do you have money problems because of someone else's drinking? Are you afraid or embarrassed to bring your friends home? Do you feel that if the drinker loved you, she or he would stop drinking? 
If you answered yes to any of these questions, you are not alone. More than half of all adults have a family history of alcoholism. Not everyone trapped by alcohol is an alcoholic. Families and friends are suffering too. Al-Anon and Alateen can help. Call 1-866-200-0223 or visit alanon.org slash help. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 344. The three things you need to know this hour first. The Salt Lake City Council is looking at several amendments to increase fines and stop developers from demolishing historic buildings. This after the old Fifth Ward building was partially demolished this past weekend. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe. Second, police say they haven't been able to track down that drone yet. Draper has this peeping drone problem. Several reports of drones hanging out near people's homes have been reported. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. A small accident westbound to I-80 after 7th East out of traffic on the right shoulder. We've had a fire that could be affecting traffic at 90th South and 10th West, and also a report of debris in the road is slowing traffic northbound I-15 just after the I-215 junction in North Salt Lake. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. 70 today with sunshine turns to 73 tomorrow, but winds have changed out of the south. I'm Matt Johnson. We're at 66 at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Michelle Franzen. A New York judge overseeing the hush money payment case ruled that former President Trump is not immune from prosecution in the case. ABC's Aaron Katursky explains. He did not rule on the merits of Trump's argument about invoking presidential immunity as it would apply to the case here in New York. But he did say the defendant, meaning Trump, chose not to to raise the defense of presidential immunity until well past the 45-day period provided by statute. The trial set to begin mid-April. Crews in Baltimore working to create a third channel for chi- ships after a cargo ship ran into the key bridge, causing it to collapse and beginning today to remove the containers off that ship. The U.N. pausing humanitarian shipments into Gaza until it can assess security measures following the Israeli airstrikes that killed seven aid workers. The World Health Organization says 27 children have died from malnutrition in Gaza since the war began. This is ABC News. And now the KSL In-Depth. Third year in a row, Arches National Park is trying out a program that staggers people coming into the park. It's called Timed Entry. Karen Garthwaite with the park explains how this system works. For visitors who are planning to come to Arches National Park this summer, between April 1st and October 31st, if you want to enter Arches after 7 a.m. or before 4 p.m., so kind of that middle time during the day, you need to get a timed entry ticket reserved in advance. And you can do that online up to three months in advance. Or if you're kind of a last minute traveler, you can even do it the night before. We put some more tickets online at 7 p.m. each night. Um, What this program means is that by staggering or spreading out visitation across the day, the time that you spend in the park is a lot more enjoyable. It's faster to get through the line in the beginning, and it's a whole lot easier to find parking once you're up inside the park. Garth Waite says Arches isn't the only park trying this out. There are actually a number of national parks throughout the system that are engaging in some kind of visitor use management, um, especially parks around southeast Utah. A lot of us saw a big uptick in visitation around the time of COVID, but it's been happening for much longer than that. Visitation at Arches actually increased 74 percent between 2021 or 2011 and 2021, and we're not the only park. So programs like this, some kind of timed entry or other means of managing the rate of visitors coming to the park is becoming more common. And quite a lot of the parks are using the same system, recreation.gov, for their programs. So hopefully it's something visitors are going to um, become more familiar with as time goes on. Reservations are now open through July, but Garthwaite says even those with last-minute plans have a shot at getting in. We are asking for folks who do some advanced planning to take care of this, book their ticket in advance, and then they don't have to worry about it. But there are some options for folks who haven't been planning three months in advance. 
Um, first of all, I mentioned that we do load more tickets the night before. So at 7 p.m. each night, folks can hop on rec.gov and see what ticket slots are available for the next day. But another option, of course, is just avoiding 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reservations for Arches can be made at recreation.gov. KSL News Time 349. You've been listening to the in depth. We do it at 15 and 45. Now, here we go. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A small accident now on the shoulder westbound I 80 just after 7th East. Traffic getting just a little busy and cautious in the area, but no major delays. On the opposite side of the valley on I 80, we do have traffic he- that's heavy and slow eastbound from Bangor Highway to the West Belt. Southbound delays Bangor Highway from Indiana Avenue to the 201 southbound I-15. Jammed up starting just after 4500 south, almost to 90 south, but looking good after that all the way to Provo. Steve? Bit of a struggle on uh, northbound 15 right now. Uh, delays at 2300 north all due to some debris in the road in North Salt Lake on the right side. Watch out for that. Uh, no delays though on 215's West Belt, the Legacy Parkway. Or if you're on Highway 89 between Lagoon and Harrison Boulevard, looks like some scattered slowing on southbound Foothill right now, sunny side to 13th South. Don't let tax problems ruin your life. Let Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox handle the IRS so you don't have to. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with 70 degrees today. Sunny skies, absolutely perfect. 73 tomorrow, partly cloudy. It'll be breezy out of the south. Those winds of change bring in some thunder showers on Friday. High of 60, still breezy. 46, coldest of the next seven. That'll be Saturday. And a chance for rain, snow, showers. Mostly cloudy, 50 degrees on Sunday. 55 and mostly sunny on Monday. How about Tuesday? 60 degrees and mostly sunny. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We're at 66 degrees in Salt Lake City, a little bit cooler in Ogden and Provo. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check the markets in just a moment. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. Advertising used to be simple. Your options were radio, TV, newspaper, and let's not forget the yellow pages. Now it seems like a tidal wave of options. Podcast, cable TV, streaming, OTT, CTV, audio network, smart speakers. On top of that, you need digital marketing for your website along with SEM, SEO, display, video, YouTube, email, and all the social media platforms. Look, you're the expert in your business. Wouldn't it be nice to have an expert to market you? We are Bonneville Salt Lake, the local marketing and media company you know and trust. We reach customers across all digital and social platforms and have the reach of traditional advertising available as well. We find your customer anytime, any place, anywhere on any device here in Utah or anywhere in the world. We work to optimize your results with our in-house local team of experts, providing you with qualified leads, not just impressions. Contact Stephanie Palmer at KSL for a free consultation including a complete digital audit with no obligation or cost to you email s palmer at ksl.com that's s palmer at ksl.com are you stressing about your irs tax problems have you received notices from the irs threatening to garnish your wages levy your bank accounts or seize your property you need an ally Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000 and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. 
If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. Social Security is with you through life's journey from birth to retirement. As your life changes year to year, so do your needs. For over 80 years, Social Security has helped to meet your needs and is committed to improving access to the services that make a difference in your life. Today, you can verify your earnings, estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, manage your benefits, and even change your address all from the comfort of your home. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. The crime tore a community apart. Chad has much more likelihood of putting on a defense. Can the judge and attorneys pick a fair jury? The death penalty is going to be a huge part of this. The trial of Chad Daybell, mornings and afternoons, starting this week. Listen at home for the latest developments and in the car for updates from the courtroom here on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Utah First Credit Union, Bob Iger, for the win. In a crucial vote, shareholders backed Disney's current leadership over renegade investors today. They wanted to replace Iger and shift the focus of the business, but it's full steam ahead for Steamboat Willie and the gang. Disney stock, though, down 3% today. There's a new feature on Instagram called The Blend. It allows a private feed of reels that you and a friend can both see personalized for both of you. Spotify released a similar feature back in 2021. America's largest egg producer is losing millions of chickens to bird flu, and you know what that means. Egg prices are on the rise again in Utah. They're now at $5.02 a dozen, unless you have your own chickens on Wall Street today. The Dow is down 43 points at 39,127. The S&P up five. The Nasdaq gained 37 points. KSL News Time 356. Federal safety regulators ending a five-year investigation into the steering of Toyota SUVs. And they've made a decision about a possible recall. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration closing its five-year investigation after dozens of complaints that the steering wheel could fall off some Toyota SUVs. It concerned more than 700,000 Highlanders from the 2008 through 2013 model years. The agency finding the problem happened rarely and was likely caused by damage due to collisions. There'll be no recall in Toyota already in 2018, issuing a bulletin telling techs to inspect the steering column when making repairs after a crash. Dave Packer, ABC News. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money. But do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At Capital Wealth Advisors, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the Capital Wealth Advisors team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 801-210-5500. That's 801-210-5500. You work hard for your money and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. Capital Wealth Advisors, 801-210-5500. Advisory services offered through Capital Wealth Advisors, LLC, a state of Utah registered investment advisor. Firm may not give tax advice. Hi friends, Dan the Laptop Man here from PC Laptops. I get a lot of emails with feedback from customers. Here's one. Dear Dan, I just had the best experience ever. I bought a computer from Shane at your State Street store. I asked several what I thought were really stupid questions. Shane was super courteous and made me feel comfortable through the whole process. People need to understand how important it is to support a local company, especially when your experience is so good. PC Laptops really does love me. Signed, satisfied. I love hearing feedback like that. It really just gives me the chills. It's the whole reason why I got into the computer business in the first place. 
You can get a brand new PC Laptops desktop and they start at only $29 a month and it comes with a lifetime warranty. That means if anything goes wrong, we're going to take care of you. Just check us out at PCLaptops.com. That's PCLaptops.com. At PC Laptops, we really do love you. Any Hour Services can help unclog any drain in your house. Whether you have a backup, a clog, or a slow drain you want fixed, call Any Hour Services or visit AnyHourServices.com. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes were brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A small accident westbound I-80 after 7th East. It's over to the right shoulder, but crews are now blocking that right lane to give them some space to work this crash. That's starting to back up traffic. Delays also for southbounders on I-15 in Salt Lake County, 4500 South almost to 90 is south. After that, a good drive all the way through Utah County. Steve? Watching those uh, northbound 15 delays uh, from 6 north up to North Salt Lake right now, heading into Davis County. Traffic bogging farther north, Clearfield to Roy past the base. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass. 365 days of fun. Visit thisisthepass.com. Steve Carlson, the KSL Traffic Center. Down to 50 degrees, the overnight low for tomorrow. Partly cloudy, breezy, and we're expecting a high of 73. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good afternoon, 4 o'clock at KSL News Radio. I'm Jeff Kaplan. 68 degrees in Salt Lake City, KSL's top story. There are now criminal charges after a group of pit bulls attacked a woman in Taylorsville, leading to her death. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe live with the latest. Amy? Jeff, the man who owns the seven pit bulls was the woman's son. She died a few days after the attack at the end of October. 38 year old Jeremy Miller is now charged with seven misdemeanors. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says animal charges don't usually end with a jail sentence. Because the result was so egregious and that a death occurred, this might be one of those exceptions where a judge decides. Maybe some jail is appropriate, and it probably won't be significant, but 30, 60, 90 days for something like this where a death occurred. The pit bulls were still attacking the woman when police arrived. They had to shoot one of the dogs on scene because they feared it would get out and maybe be a danger to the public. The other dogs were put down by animal control. Reporting live, Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. A Draper couple is warning their neighbors about a peeping drone. Yes, they're saying a drone appeared outside their window Monday night and just hovered there. Lieutenant Mike Elkin with Draper Police says this is a rough case to track. The only way to really find out what the intention is is either to talk to the operator or, or catch this thing somehow and, and be able to analyze that card. Unfortunately, it's like trying to catch a bird. He says their department's trying to get the word out to the public. If you know someone who's doing this, please give the police a call. A bomb threat that put two St. George schools on high alert were hoaxes. Police say they received the threat to a specific address uh, between the schools via email. The schools were locked down as a precaution, but it was lifted quickly since the threats weren't real. Bird flu is once again threatening the nation's egg supply. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Theft cases of the bird flu have forced the country's largest egg producer to stop production of plants in Texas and Michigan. It's something White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the administration is taking seriously. One of the most important things for this administration is the health and safety of American public. And so that's how we take that very seriously. She says they will also be closely monitoring the potential economic impact. Senator Bernie Sanders says he's working with the president to bring down drug prices. At a White House event, Sanders said cutting drug prices is something that all Americans agree on. We are sick and tired of paying by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. He says there's also bipartisan support for cutting prices in Congress. One person has died in Kentucky after severe storms brought a string of tornadoes to the state. Governor Andy Bashir says most of the state was affected by more than seven tornadoes. Certainly a number of counties impacted. Bashir today declaring a state of emergency. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. 
Nine people, nine are dead dozens trapped inside a quarry in Taiwan after the 7.4 magnitude earthquake last night. To give you context of how strong the shaking was, it was 100 times stronger than the earthquake here in 2020. Yeah, this is definitely a reminder of, of what could happen here in Utah. I mean, the magnitude uh, 7.4 is similar to what we expect could be the highest magnitude uh, quake on the Wasatch Fault. Wade Matthews with Be Ready Utah tells Dave and Dujanovic if we ever get an earthquake that big in Utah, you're just going to have to ride it out. Later this month, thousands of Utahns will drop cover and hang on as they participate in the Great Utah Shakeout April 18th during the morning hours. A Salt Lake City road could be closing for up to two years because of a unique problem. The city is considering shutting down 7200 West from I-80 to 1300 South because of the consistent illegal dumping. Salt Lake Transportation and Public Service officials tell KSL.com more than 250 tons of bulky and hazardous waste has been removed from the area over the past few years. City officials say the closure would deter the dumping and the potential hazard, as well as reduce the cost of cleanup. The last two cleanups cost over $60,000 of taxpayer money. Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. A man from Honduras is facing federal charges after police in Magna seized 125,000 fentanyl pills from his apartment. KSL.com reports Gustavo Flores Hernandez was indicted by a federal grand jury of possession of fentanyl with intent to distribute and re-entry of a previously removed alien. Payson High School is trying to collect enough money and supplies to fill 5,000 humanitarian kits that will be donated through Kevin Bacon's charity called Six Degrees. The director of the Utah Film Commission, Virginia Pierce, says the kits will be given to local organizations. It's really meant to be, you know, a bit of an uplift and a support for whatever they're going through. It's a way of also saying thank you to the Footloose Star for agreeing to attend the Payson High Prom. You know, the school, the community, and the Utah Film Commission are all lending a hand to make it happen. KSL News Time 405. First look traffic. Here's Ricky Meese. We do have an accident in Ogden, southbound I-15 near 12th Street. Also a crash for Summit County drivers. This is on Highway 40 near the ramp by the SR 248 junction to go to Park City. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. My minute's on the way next. Stay right here. Hi, this is Julie from the Visitors Bureau in Logan, and things are looking up. The sun is out, and you should be too. Spring break is just around the corner, so book your stay, pack your bags, and come and play. We're kicking off spring break with the annual Original Baby Animal Days at the American West Heritage Center. You'll be spread out over 160 acres of beautiful scenery while you pet all the baby animals like lambs, goats, piglets, bunnies, and chicks. March 28th through the 30th also features exotic animals. You can see baby bears from Yellowstone Bear World April 3rd through the 6th, which is also when Baby Animal Days combines with the annual Mountain Man Rendezvous. Watch demonstrations like flint and steel, fire starting, bullet making, and leatherworking, and scrimshaw. Wait, do you even know what that is? It doesn't matter. Come and see at the American West Heritage Center. Logan has so many great things to do. Come for spring break or anytime you need a break. Vacation in Logan. Just get in the car. ExploreLogan.com. ExploreLogan.com. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. Please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221. Or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. Getting help with electrical repairs is easier than you think. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services or schedule an appointment at AnyHourServices.com. 
No one helps more homeowners than any hour services. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. Are we allowed to get excited about somebody else's solar eclipse? Because this one is not ours. Here in Salt Lake on Monday, only 48% of the sun will be covered. Compared to the last one, it's barely going to get darker. Remember the one in 2017? Almost all of the sun was covered. The sky visibly darkened. The shadows of the tree leaves looked like half moons. The birds went quiet. The dinosaurs reappeared. Or maybe that didn't happen. I don't remember. 2017 was a long time ago. We had a KSL eclipse party with those janky eclipse glasses from China. The highlight for me, Doug Wright interviewing my little granddaughter. Now, let's see. Alexa, how old are you right now? I am seven. You're seven? Yeah. Alexa just got a job. 2017 was a long time ago, but I remember my relatives back east didn't care one bit about our eclipse. I mean, I was all excited, and they were like, oh, that's nice. This time, the state of New York gets totality, and back east in the media capital of the world, New York can't stop telling us about it, even obsessing over the prison inmates who aren't permitted to see it. A group of inmates have sued New York's Department of Corrections for the right to view Monday's solar eclipse because the eclipse is a religious event. Here in Utah, we did let our inmates see the eclipse. But as far as the national media is concerned, our eclipse didn't even happen. So as the hours tick toward Monday and eclipse mania reaches fever pitch, don't succumb to the hype. I mean, they're selling Krispy Kreme Eclipse donuts. And at a well-known pizza joint, they're offering a special total eclipse of the hut. Look, it'll be worth a glimpse right before lunch Monday, but all the ooing and eyeing will be in Dallas, Cleveland, and for goodness sakes, Buffalo. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. This one's not ours. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay apps. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, what's going on? Well, crews are on the scene of this crash westbound I 80 just after the state, uh, 7th East on ramp. They're blocking off that right lane of traffic, even though the crash is over to the shoulder. But that is causing some backups on westbound I 80. Southbound I 15, it's slow as you go from 4,500 south to 72nd, but we're clear on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. Mark? Got a crash out in Park City, US 40 on ramp at SR 248 Junction. You'll see it there, but it is not causing any backups right now. Some rush hour delays tightening on Bangor between California Ave and Parkway Boulevard. Normal delays on Mountain View at 5600 West, typically between California Ave and 3500 South. In Utah County so far, on and off the freeway, I-15 looking pretty good. Steve? Northbound 15 delays right now between Rose Park and North Salt Lake. Also with Davis County, you've got to be on the brakes in spots from Clearfield up to Roy past the base. Uh, southbound 215's West Side Belt Route, a little thick there at 700 North. Otherwise, Legacy's looking good this afternoon, as is Highway 89 in South Weber. Up at your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price, visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you love. Uh, Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Well, for the first time since last November, we'll hit 70 degrees with sunny skies this afternoon. Overnight dipping off to 50. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-70s, and breezy out of the south. Then a cold front expected with thunder showers on Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. KSL News Time 412. We're streaming live at KSLnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. 66 degrees. This is Utah's news traffic and weather station. For most of the people that walk in our store, it's been an ongoing, nonstop issue. They're searching, they're, they're grasping at straws because they've been trying other products and they've bought something that they thought was going to help solve their problem and it didn't. You're listening to Beth, an art support specialist at the Goodfeet store. A client came into my store last year that has had plantar fasciitis for 30 years. He literally walked in with a handful of products and said, this is what I've been wearing. I looked at him, I said, are you kidding me? I've been here for 14, where have you been? For over 20 years, we've been helping people live the life they love without letting their feet get in the way. I'm just sad that he spent so many years with so much discomfort. 
I helped relieve a problem that's plagued him for 30 years. I mean, how do you not go home and talk about that? See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Goodfeet store. Stop by the Goodfeet store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1-800-NEW-FEET or visit goodfeet.com. The Goodfeet store, the life you love, starts here. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to J&J Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats J&J's price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try J&J Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Bill Riley here with University of Utah head football coach Kyle Whittingham. Now tell me, Coach Witt, what's your philosophy on a winning team? I believe the key to winning is a strong offensive line. When the linemen do their job, nothing gets through to the quarterback so he can do his job. Well, what happens if the linemen don't do their job? Ouch. You know, Bill, I recently learned that kidneys work like linemen for your body. When your kidneys work, you block poisons and chemicals from your blood. Coach, I've heard that one in nine Americans have some form of kidney disease. What can we do to fight back? Join me, Coach Kyle Whittingham, and be part of the winning team against kidney disease. Donate your used car or truck to the Kidney Foundation. Your car will be towed for free, and you'll get a receipt for a tax deduction. Tell them how to do that, Bill. Donate your car to the Kidney Foundation today and make your car a kidney car. Cars to save lives. Call 1-800-TOW-CARS. That's tow cars. Cars with a K. 1-800-TOW-CARS. Every year, the National Kidney Foundation helps individuals and families affected by kidney disease. Help them out by making your car a kidney car. Call 1-800-TOW-CARS. KSL News Time 415. The three things you need to know this hour first. A 17-year-old boy in Bountiful had a heart attack and collapsed on the floor. Luckily, a healthcare professional was on her way home driving by and was able to give CPR until EMS arrived. I'm KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera. Second, the New Zillow report says there are more cities in the U.S. with homes worth a million dollars. Six Utah cities made the list, including Park City, Alta, Granite, and Alpine. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. Right lane blocked due to a crash westbound I-80 just after 7th East. And uh, drivers, heads up, if your normal route is Bangor Highway, there will be an outside lane closure tonight on the northbound side of Bangor at California Avenue starting at 10 p.m. Ricky Meeson, the KSL Traffic Center. Sunshine and near 60 today. How about low 70s tomorrow? I'm Kevin Eubank. It's 68 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Chuck Severson. Dangerous weather over much of the U.S. At least one person's dead after violent storms and tornadoes hit a majority of Kentucky, says Governor Andy Bashir. By the end of this, um, I think we may well be looking at seven plus different tornadoes that have touched down. Certainly a number of counties impacted either by a tornado or very significant storms. The sections of Interstate 376 in downtown Pittsburgh is closed, flooding concerns from the Ohio River. Pennsylvania DOT's Lori Musto. The rain's going to stop, but that's not going to stop the water level from rising. So we're going to see flooding, and it's rising quickly. On a snowy forecast for New England, a hardware store clerk in Ashburn, Massachusetts, says no customers leaving empty-handed. We still have salts, shovels available, but uh, so far nobody's panicking. A New York judge today rejected Donald Trump's bid to delay his April 15th election interference, hush money, porn star, criminal trial. Judge Juan Mershon says Mr. Trump waited too long. Prime Minister Netanyahu will speak with President Biden tomorrow, says a senior Israeli official to ABC News. Pressure building after an Israeli airstrike in Gaza killed several members of a relief organization. ABC's Perry Russell in Washington. The U.S. State Department says it doesn't matter what the Israeli government was intending to do. What matters is what they did. Now the State Department is calling for a full, transparent, swift investigation to be done as soon as possible. Spokesman Matthew Miller. They need to put in place better deconfliction, 
and better coordination measures to protect humanitarian workers and to protect all the civilians on the ground. The State Department says more than 200 aid workers have been killed since the conflict started. On the nonstop work to not only clear away the collapsed highway bridge in Baltimore, but the container ship that crashed into it. We are staged to begin lifting the first of those undamaged containers off the bow of the ship. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilraith, you're listening to... ABC News. And now the KSL In-Depth. The Utah Court of Appeals heard arguments today in a case about a rape that happened way back in 1996, but wasn't reported till 2021. The accused, the accused's attorney argues the statute of limitations has passed, but the state says they had four years to prosecute the case since it was reported. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis explained the significance of this case to Maria Shaleos on Utah's New News. The statute of limitations applies and in, in what the law was at the time the offense is alleged to have occurred. So today, uh, sex crimes against children, there is no statute of limitations. But back in 96, when this crime is supposed to have occurred, the victim was 13 years old. And at that time, the statute of limitations read, the statute of limitations was four years after it's reported. And it's, that's important because when you deal with children, they often don't report right away. So the legislature said, well, we'll give them four years after they report. So the question for the court was, she reported it in 2021. He was charged that year. That seems fairly straightforward. It was, But they found out that another victim of the same man had reported that she had been sexually assaulted back in 1998 and she reported that this same victim that we're talking about here was assaulted and so the defense argued well wait a minute there was a report made even though it wasn't by the victim it was by another victim so officers had that's when their four-year clock started but the state saying well it wasn't really a report it was just an allegation the victim didn't report it and so it shouldn't apply he says the Court of Appeals job today was to weigh whether or not the statute of limitations started in 2021 with the accusation or in 1998 when the friend reported it. KSL News Time 420 now traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A slow ride southbound I-15 from 4500 south, almost to 90 of South Sandy. Now starting to see traffic filling in and slowing down. This is westbound on the south belt of I-215 from about 9th east over to the I-15 junction. And we have an accident westbound to I-80 just after 7th east. Mark? Busy on Bangor Highway this afternoon. Not solid, but slow and go in spots between California Ave and 3500 Southwest Valley. Mountain View is a hard bumper to bumper between after SR201 down to 3500 South. Sluggish again at South Jordan Parkway. I-15 in Utah County. You're getting a good running start right now heading into Lehigh. Steve. Southbound Foothill. A little busy this afternoon between Sunnyside and 21st South in spots. Uh, northbound 15 busy between 6 North and North Salt Lake. Plus, Davis County delays Clearfield to the Aerospace Museum in uh, Roy there at 5600 South. Got a crash in Ogden on southbound 15 near 12th Street in the load-up stages right now. Otherwise, no delays on Legacy or on Highway 89 in South Weber. No matter what kind of car you drive, two things are always true. All tires eventually need replacing and all vehicles need servicing. For quality service you can trust, visit your Big O Tires in Utah, the team you trust. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. And Kevin Eubank is here. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, you like this kind of weather. I know, Jeff. Who Sunny does it? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there might be some. Who? I don't, I don't hear the crickets. <laughs> But all the same, it's been a beautiful day. Sunny skies and temperatures. Well, we hit 70 in downtown Salt Lake City. The airport's been to 68 degrees. Tomorrow, it's going to be a little warmer, but it's going to come because of the south winds. Look for mostly sunny skies. Temperatures, 73 for the afternoon high. But that's going to come with south winds, 20 to 30 miles an hour in the afternoon. So a blustery day. It'll stay windy early on Friday ahead of a storm that'll start as some valley rain. And then mix with snowfall Friday night into Saturday morning. Generally less than an inch in the Salt Lake Valley, but the benches could get
get one to two inches, and the northern mountains will get an additional eight to 16 inches during the day Friday into Saturday. Should all be gone by Saturday night, we'll rebound nicely next week back to the 50s and 60s with sunshine. Okay, so this weekend is for all the people who like darkness and rain and emo music, See, right? there you go, Jeff. Uh, I knew you were out there. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot, Kevin. 68 degrees, KSL News Time 423. There are many out-of-control factors that can cripple supply chains and break down the ability to get vital supplies for weeks, maybe even longer. Inflation and political instability means the cost of food could skyrocket. Now is the time to do something about it. The first step is to protect your family and to stock up on what you need. ReadyWise meals taste incredible, are simple to make, easy to store, and offer up to a 25-year shelf life. ReadyWise is a leader in emergency food supplies, during General Conference Weekend, enjoy saving statewide on all emergency food and supplies. Visit ReadyWise.com slash KSL to explore the versatile emergency meal selection and start building your emergency food supply today. That's ReadyWise.com slash KSL. Use code KSL20 at checkout to take 20% off your purchase. This discount will work for any item on the site. That's ReadyWise.com slash KSL and use code KSL20. Some exclusions may apply. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Join Macy's and Trust for Public Land to bring more parks to more people across the country now during Earth Month. Throughout April, you can help turn vacant schoolyards into vibrant parks. Just donate online to Trust for Public Land or round up your Macy's store purchase up to 99 cents and donate the extra change. Give back today and find out how we're helping people in the planet thrive together at Macy's.com slash purpose. Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning is offering furnace maintenance for 30% off. Call 385-GET-HEAT today to take advantage of this limited-time offer. Carrier, turn to the experts. The crime tore a community apart. Chad has much more likelihood of putting on a defense. Can the judge and attorneys pick a fair jury? The death penalty is going to be a huge part of this. The trial of Chad Daybell, mornings and afternoons, starting this week. Listen at home for the latest developments and in the car for updates from the courtroom here on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. A few weeks after Apple has given up on building an electric vehicle, Bloomberg reports the company is putting some effort into robots, specifically one that can follow you around the house, and another tabletop robot. It's being called an Apple Moonshot project. In other words, might happen, might not. LinkedIn is leveling up. They now have enabled a messaging feature where you can directly message a LinkedIn page or account that rolls out to all LinkedIn pages this week. KSL drives car sales across the U.S. rose more than 5% in March. However, electric car sales slowed by 2.7% during the same time. On Wall Street today, the Dow is down 43 points. It closed at 39 point, excuse me, closed at 39,127. The S&P was up five points. The NASDAQ gained 37. You know, Deb, you and I have had this conversation so many times. We think, oh, I wish I had a little more light here or maybe a ceiling fan there. That's why we love Master Electrical. So anytime we have an electrical problem, we know we can call them and they will give us their upfront pricing guarantee. Because we're not going to do it yourself. We're going to leave it to the professionals. And this upfront pricing guarantee is fantastic. I'm sure you've been bitten by bids in the past where they say, Say, oh, that's going to take half a day, and then two weeks later, the bid and the invoice have nothing to do with each other. Not only will you get their upfront pricing guarantee, but you will never see an upcharge. Their pricing system simply won't allow it. Master Electrical proudly serves from Logan to Santa Quin. They do everything that has to do with electrical, and they're always open, including for emergency services. The phone number to call is 801-543-2222. 801-543-2222 or check them out online at masterelectrical.com. It's going to be here before you know it. Here comes the summer. 
like a way to change. Soda Weight Loss wants to help you look amazing in your swimsuit and shorts, but you got to get started right now at SodaWeightLoss.com. No time? Try Soda's at-home program with all the support you need online. I didn't realize how unhealthy I was. When you start losing the weight, even that first five pounds, this enormous amount of confidence starts to build in you. You start to realize like, oh, this is possible for me. That's Lauren, and she let go of 35 pounds with Soda. With their help, I let go of 34 pounds, and I've kept it off for more than two years. That's because soda works. Soda helps you break food addictions and get healthy for the rest of your life. It's why they have more than 8,700 Google reviews and countless before and after pictures and videos of people loving their results. Let go of the weight and get started now at SodaWeightLoss.com. Soda is, say it with me, state, state of, of the, the art. art. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matt. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. Your traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Delay southbound I-15, South Salt Lake to Sandy, northbound I-15. A little heavy and slow as you're approaching and passing 33rd South. And we still have the cleanup of an accident westbound to I-80 just after 7th East blocking a right lane. Mark? Busy on Bangor right now. Not solid, but between California Ave and 3500 South. Slowdowns on both sides. Mountain View at 5600 West. Slow as normal through West Valley. And then I-15 right now, you're seeing good speeds in Utah County. Steve? Yeah, a slow ride on northbound 15, though. Busy uh, between 6 North and North Salt Lake into Davis County. More slowdowns. Clearfield up to Roy to 5600 South. Got a crash in Ogden on southbound 15 near 12th Street in the uh, clearing stages. Rekindle adventure in a place everyone connects with nature, Cedar City and Brian Head. Shopping, dining, museums, spring skiing, tubing, hiking, biking, disc golf, and much more. Level up your adventure. Visit cedarcity.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll go for ample sunshine today with a high of 70 degrees, our first on the season. Breezy for tomorrow. We'll go 73, partly cloudy skies, then a chance for thunder showers on Friday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. In Ogden, 65 degrees, same deal in Provo, down in St. George, blue sky 74. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 4:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. It's 68 degrees. KSL's top story. After the partial demolition of the old Fifth Ward Church building, the Salt Lake City Council is looking at increasing fines. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe reports. The council is looking at several amendments to tighten control of historic buildings and districts. One would bar developers from knocking down anything without approval. And instead of just fines, which they noted in their meeting isn't doing enough, they'd also keep the developer from building anything new on the property for 25 years. These amendments were already in the works, but were moved up to this month on the agenda after that Fifth Ward building demolition. The council will hold a public hearing on the issue in two weeks. More cities have homes worth a million dollars than ever. That's for a new study from Zillow. Utah has six places where the average home is a million plus. Park City, Alta, Granite, Alpine, West Mountain in southern Utah County, and Camas. Zillow says a record 550 cities across the U.S. have a million-dollar home price average. It's a sign of how competitive the housing market still is, no matter how high interest rates get. A new sign that loan and credit card rates will be getting cheaper this year. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell telling an audience at Stanford University the Fed is likely to reduce its benchmark interest rate later this year. He says an uptick in inflation doesn't change the overall picture of solid growth. Powell also dispelling rumors that the Fed's decision will be affected by the presidential election. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is on her way to China for a week of bilateral meetings. During a refueling stop in Alaska, Yellen telling reporters the two sides have discussed in depth their economic relationship. We think we both benefit from trade and investment, but that it needs to be in a level playing field. Yellen will be advocating for American businesses, expanding cooperation between the two economies, and discussing climate change.
The Biden administration is pushing Congress to extend a program that has offset the co- cost of home Internet access for more than 20 million low-income households. White House advisor Tom Perez says the hang-up is in the GOP-controlled house. There's over 100,000 users of this program in the Speaker's District. Money has run out for the program that provides discounts for Internet access up to $75 a month for low-income Americans. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Chaleos, KSL News Radio. Severe weather is slowing crews from clearing the main shipping channel into Baltimore Harbor. Crews say it's treacherous, untangling bridge wreckage in good weather, but divers are now dealing with several storm fronts around Baltimore. That thunderstorm coming through, so we've had to pull the divers out. But once it's safe to do so, we'll get them back in the water and continue diving on those operations. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath says they're working to unload ship containers and safely move it to clear a path back to the port of Baltimore. Andy Field, ABC News. An 80-year-old American woman was killed by a bull elephant while on a game drive in a national park in Zambia over the weekend. A game drive gets you significantly closer to the animals than a normal safari. ABC's James Longman in London says video of the incident shows the elephant chasing the vehicle the woman was in. You can tell that those inside the cart know something is up. It looks like the elephant is chasing this cart. You can hear voices on board. The guide uh, seems like he knows that there, there is an issue. And, and the elephant looks like it's chasing them. We know that the elephant picked this cart up twice, smashed it down uh, on the ground, and very sadly, uh, an 80 year old woman, an American tourist, was killed. Just brutal. The safari company says the woman was traveling with another female guest was also hurt. Utah's Court of Appeals heard a sexual assault case today. Dating back to 1996, the victim was 13 and didn't report the crime till 25 years later. The defendant is arguing the statute of limitations is run out. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says it wouldn't be an issue today because there's no longer a statute of limitations on sexual crimes involving children. Even if something occurred here in the last 10 years and they report it later on, they're still going to be protected by the law. However, a lower court ruled the statute of limitations that was in place at the time didn't apply in this case. The U.S. Department of Health releases new guidance about sensitive exams. Hospitals must now get written consent for a pelvic, breast, or prostate exam, especially if the patient will be under anesthesia for the exam. KSL News Time 435. A new study finds that stress caused by work may lead to the cause of many breakups. These findings were part of the sixth annual Workplace Mental Health Trends Report. 71% of respondents said work stress caused a personal relationship to end. 39%, less than half, but a significant number say they are less able to care for family or children's mental health. KSL News Time 435. First look traffic now. Ricky Meese is here. We have some nasty delays trying to get into Davis County tonight. Earlier, there was debris on the road. A KSL traffic trooper said it's like gravel in the right lanes of travel. And we have slow and go and stop and go speeds northbound I-15 from North Temple to just past the North Interchange in North Salt Lake. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. My minute is on the way. Next. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. 5174. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. 
He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Orrin Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Orrin Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us. KSL News Time 438. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, Electrical Plumbing, Heating, and Air, AnyHourServices.com. We have a couple nice days here. Guys, perfect night to fire up the grill. And I mention guys because in 85% of American households, it's the male holding the spatula. The man is the grill master. But why? It's not a caveman thing. Eons ago, those handsome fellas would bring home the kill and the cave ladies would do the cooking. Some theorize men learn to grill out of necessity on the battlefield. Sounds manly enough, but truth is, cooking was considered women's work till the 1920s. Enter Henry Ford, who had sawdust and wood scraps all over the floor of his car factories, so he did a deal to turn the sawdust into charcoal briquettes. Next, he started selling grills and charcoal along with his cars. Cars bought almost always by men who go home and get to play with fire. By the 1950s, the male of the species was lord of the barbecue, as explained over a backyard grill on Leave it to Beaver. Whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, you know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Now, don't shoot the messenger. But some historians say that in the kitchen, women cooked using ovens with thermostats. The recipes were precise. 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Like that. But out back, it was like the jungle. No thermostat. Cooking by looking? Uh, that looks about done. Better to be in the kitchen preparing side dishes and desserts. Now, the historians who explain this are men who are slowly ceding the tongs to their mates. An Ipsos survey shows that over the last five years, the number of women serving as family grill masters has doubled to 34%. All you beleaguered American males who think the world is closing in on you, they're coming for your tongs. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. We have your traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Mees. The de usual delays are waiting for you on southbound I-15 from about 3,500 south, now reaching down to about 114th south Draper before you'll see speeds increase. Northbound I-15 spots of slowing scattered from 53rd South Murray to the 6th south exit downtown. We still have the cleanup of the accident westbound I-80 after 7th East on the right, Mark. We're short on wrecks and lighter than normal in traffic getting into, through, and out of Utah County on I-15. Even the streets through Provo, Pleasant Grove, normally they're crowded a little bit lighter than normal this afternoon. Bangers getting some delays anywhere between California Avenue and Kearns, and then again down around 9,800 South, and it's a pretty tight squeeze through West Valley as well. Mountain View, SR 201 to 3,500 South. Steve. Now the backups are building now. Northbound 15, 6 North up into a North Salt Lake. Got debris reported in North Salt Lake, possibly gravel or asphalt on the right shoulder. More Davis County slowdowns. Clearfield up to 5,600 South in Roy. Got a crash on South 15. Near 12th Street in Ogden in the clearing stages. And delays now on the northbound 215's west side belt route from the eastbound I-80 transition ramp heading north onto the west belt. Don't miss the Bedrock Quartz bonus cash event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12 months. See or present financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertops, sinks, and more. Visit bedrockquartz.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny day today with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Tonight, 49 for the low. It gets even warmer on Thursday. Compliments of the south wind, 20 to 30 miles an hour. Temperatures will go into the low 70s under mostly sunny skies. Increasing clouds. 
clouds throughout the day, mostly cloudy with developing rain on Friday. It'll mix with snow overnight Friday into Saturday, generally less than an inch in Salt Lake City, but the mountains get 8 to 16 inches. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. Look at this, 68 in Salt Lake City, bright sunshine, blue sky, but shut the curtains. There's a peeping drone in Draper. Full details on the creepy situation coming up. Stay here. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 442. When you look up at your roof, do the shingles look like old clothing, a little bit frayed, the color is shot? Well, you don't want to wait till the water comes pouring in. It's your house. The good news, the number one rated roofing company in Utah will come out, assess what's going on up there, give you a great price on a new roof, and right now they're going to give you an extra $1,500 off. IWC Roofing does more residential roofs than any company in the state couple of reasons they offer the absolute best 50-year guarantee in the business they'll send a team of installers to start and finish your roof in one day done and they'll even leave time to power wash your driveway when they're finished 1500 off their already low quote you get the best guarantee and financing is absolutely available they know a new roof isn't cheap but right now it is cheaper 1500 off make the call iwc roofing 801-232-5690 That's 232-5690 or go to iwcroofingutah.com. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At slcfatloss.com, we know the secret. Our unique weight loss program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back naturally, safely, and effectively. If you'd like to lose unhealthy fat without counting points, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no surgery, and no injections with the risk of serious side effects, go to slcfatloss.com now to schedule your free consultation in person or virtually. This is Maria Shaleos. If you want to slim down fast before summer, Salt Lake City Fat Loss is the answer. I've lost 25 pounds in 60 days. Find out their secret for yourself. Call 801-450-1882 to schedule your free consultation or go to slcfatloss.com. Many clients lose 20 to 30 pounds in about a month or two. That's up to a pound per day. For your free private weight loss consultation, call 801-450-1882. Or go to slcfatloss.com. That's slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. Artillery fire in Europe. Russia launching its biggest missile attack. Gunfire maims soldiers and civilians in the Middle East. Humanitarian crisis. And at home, we can barely stand in the same room. We've never been more divided. This spring, start over. The 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This Saturday and Sunday at 10. In your car at 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. On every smart speaker and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. We're so glad you're here. KSL News Time 445. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Payson High School has almost reached their goal of fundraising and donations to make 5,000 humanitarian kits in honor of Kevin Bacon coming to prom. I'm KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson. Second, Weber County Animal. Animal Services is asking for donations to help combat a parvo outbreak among dogs at their shelter. Parvo is a highly contagious and potentially deadly disease preventable with vaccination. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. That's going to be northbound I-15 where we have emergency traffic in North Salt Lake. We had debris on the road, looked like gravel. You've got some vehicles over to the right shoulder. And uh, crews have just opened up the two right lanes of travel. So we're seeing traffic move again, but we have stop and go delays back to North Temple. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunshine today, even warmer weather tomorrow. I'm Kevin Eubank. 68 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now, KSL's top national stories. ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Violent storms, including tornadoes, have killed at least one person in Kentucky, says Governor Andy Beshear. This storm and the tornadoes involved had statewide impacts hitting numerous areas uh, across the state. The storms are moving toward New England, where they're forecast to dump some more snow. Higher elevations could see two more feet. 
The only and temporary shipping channel in the Port of Baltimore set up as cleanup of the bridge collapse continues is preparing to process many ships over the next weeks, says the company TradePoint Atlantic. Israel should investigate the airstrike in Gaza that killed relief workers from the World Central Kitchen in a full, fast and transparent manner, says the State Department. A New York judge has rejected Donald Trump's bid to delay his April 15th election interference hush money criminal trial until the Supreme Court rules on presidential immunity. This is ABC News. And now the KSL in-depth peeping drones might be replacing peeping toms. We've been following this situation today where a Draper couple reported a drone hovering outside their window. Then it moved on to other homes in the neighborhood. Draper Police Lieutenant Mike Elkin joined Dave and Dujanovic this morning saying, wait, this is a difficult case to track down. You become aware of at least a couple different instances. First one a couple weeks ago, um, we had one of our local hotels uh, call reporting a very similar thing, seeing a drone in broad daylight uh, going from window to window before it, it uh, took off over the freeway and was, wasn't to see, be seen again. You know, this is such a bizarre thing. It's, it's, it's very new. Um, for a couple hundred dollars, anybody can get a hold of these things. And, and what they can do and what they can see, you know, it, it's almost limitless anymore. The technology just keeps advancing. The technology just keeps getting better. It's easier to fly further. Trying to catch them, I mean, you can imagine there's that dot in the sky going, overhead we try to follow and see where it goes it's extremely difficult yeah well you know it would be nice to talk to these drone operators and find out what their intentions are because i I can't think of very many legitimate purposes for peeking into somebody's window Um, most of the equipment do carry uh camera cards uh sim card type things on board where it would be actually very easy to record yeah. while these are happening. Um, and, the, and the only way to really find out what the intention is is either to talk to the operator or, or catch this thing somehow and, and be able to analyze that card. Unfortunately, it's like trying to catch a bird, you know? They're, they're yeah. really difficult. To, it's difficult to do. So, you know, we try to get the word out to the public that if, if you know someone who's doing this or you've, you've seen your neighbor do it or you know that it's happening somehow, give us a call. That's Lieutenant Mike Elkin of Draper. I guess they can't use a shotgun, can they? He says, in Utah, this type of invasion of privacy is a violation of state law. Peeping drones. It's like trying to chase a bird. KSL News Time 449. Traffic and weather together, an emergency report. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Northbound I-15 right about about Main Street in North Salt Lake, just after the North Interchange. We've had debris in the road. Those two right lanes have been blocked. Uh, They're temporarily stopping traffic now in order to let some of the vehicles involved move and get back on the freeway. But as soon as that happens, they'll open up those lanes again. As a result, we have traffic that's just basically a parking lot all the way back to North Temple. Our other hot spot is at the very north end of I-215's Belt Route. It's the spot as you go eastbound between Legacy and the I-15 Junction where traffic is also at a standstill. Mark? Not quite at a standstill, but it is heavy right now in an unusual place in Utah County on southbound I-15 down around 4800 south as you scoot between Springville and Spanish Fork this afternoon. Rest of I-15 in Utah County in pretty good shape. Slowest traffic out west is Mountain View, SR201 to 3500 South. Steve. Got the usual southbound 15 delays in the valley uh, from South Salt Lake out to Midville between 39th and 72nd South. Plus, body slowdowns on North 15 between South uh, the uh, South Interchange and the ballpark exit of 13 South. Eastbound 80, a little slow there past the uh, airport, Mangader to the West Belt. And delays on the 21st South Freeway from Mountain View heading into Magnum. Lagoon's looking for ride maintenance technicians. Lagoon offers excellent mechanical training programs with amazing career opportunities. Ride maintenance technician positions are full-time and year-round. Details, visit lagoonpark.com forward slash jobs. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny weather today, but the winds will pick up tomorrow. It'll make it even warmer, 73 for the high in Salt Lake under mostly sunny skies. Storm will move in Friday, developing valley rain and mountain snow in northern Utah, and then a rain-snow mix in the valleys by Saturday morning. 
That'll bring anywhere from a half inch to an inch in Salt Lake City. Benches get a little more. The northern mountains, 8 to 16 inches. Storm will linger through early Sunday morning in the mountains, and then it's all gone. But it stays cold. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s for Sunday. Back to some sunshine in 50s and 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. From the KSO Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubanks. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful, 68 degrees. You liking this San Diego weather? California, yeah. We'll check the markets and the close on the Dow in just a moment. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. You know that feeling? Your air conditioner starts making a weird noise, but you don't know if that's a typical weird noise or potentially expensive weird noise? And you just want somebody smart to come and look at it and maybe get things back to when you had perfectly good air conditioning without a stupid weird noise? Whipple that away. Making weird sounding air conditioners quiet again is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Look for our special offers at whipplethataway.com. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. This Monday Tax Tip is brought to you by Susan Spears, CEO of the Utah Association of CPAs. In 2021, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act. This law creates a new beneficial ownership information reporting requirement as part of the U.S. government's efforts to make it harder for bad actors to hide behind anonymous entities as part of illicit financial activities. In the U.S., it is estimated that 32 million companies will be required to make this filing to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. To find out if your organization is exempt, contact your CPA. Get the most out of your income tax preparation when you hire a CPA. Go to uacpa.org to find a CPA that's right for you. That's uacpa.org. UACPA.org. Listen to KSL on Monday for more tax tips from the Utah Association of CPAs. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Health care with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. Giving the gift of time during the holidays is a hallmark of the season, but the need for kind hearts and an extra pair of hands is here all year long. You Serve Utah is encouraging Utahns across the state to pledge now to serve those in need in the coming year. You and your family will help spread the holiday spirit long after the holidays have passed. When will you pledge? To sign up, visit www.youserve.utah.gov. We're watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Everybody expecting an interest rate cut in June? Fed Chair Jerome Powell says not so fast. Soon, maybe. Everybody's asking him, when are you cutting rates? And he says the Fed's in no hurry until we see solid data. The economy is cooling off a bit. Computer chips for AI are all the rage on Wall Street. Look at NVIDIA's stock price shooting to the moon. But apparently Intel was, wasn't was invited to the party. Intel has announced it suffered a $7 billion operating loss last year. Intel stock on that news down 8% today. Maverick has rebranded 30 come-and-go convenience stores in Utah and Colorado. They're now Mavericks, all of them. The company bought come-and-go last year. KSL.com reports the next year Maverick might expand into the Midwest. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 43 points, closed at 39, 127. Meantime, the S&P was up five, the NASDAQ up 37 points. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 
888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, LDS Hospital in Salt Lake City, and Utah Valley Hospital in Provo are ranked among the 2023 list for best cancer hospitals in the nation by Newsweek Magazine for the high level of comprehensive personalized care and treatment they provide. Intermountain Cancer Center locations provide an integrated, personalized approach to cancer treatment care, close to home for patients throughout the Intermountain West, as well as telehealth services. Brought to you by Intermountain Health and KSL News Radio. It's spring, and it feels good. Sunny and 71 on Thursday, glorious. It's the warm before the storm. By Saturday, it's cold enough that we could see the rain transitioning to snow, even for valleys. Well, for a couple of days anyway. Get a reliable KSL forecast for this week and conference weekend every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Emergency traffic. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Mees. All lanes of traffic are now open. The debris has been cleared. Northbound I-15 Main Street in North Salt Lake just after the north interchange. But the residual delays, a mix of speeds, including slow and go and stop and go delays that reach back to 2100 South. As a result, everybody's on legacy now with overflow slowdowns northbound between I-215 up to Bountiful. Mark. Bit of a pushback in Utah County on southbound I-15 Springville to Spanish Fork, and it looks like northbound delays are forming just above Pleasant Grove Boulevard briefly. Streets in Provo off the freeway. I'm seeing, seeing them getting a little bit heavy right now. Steve. Southbound 15 delays, uh, South Salt Lake to Midvale between 45th and 72nd right now. Also, Sandy to Draper got scattered slow spots on northbound I-15 between the South 215 Junction and 13 South. I-80 busy as well from Bangor to the West Belt. Plan your special evening out in one of Salt Lake's most unique dining experiences, Five Alls in Foothill. Five courses, five-star service, and dining, fivealls.com, fivealls.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Tonight, the low temperature is going to be 50 degrees. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a breeze kicks up, and we're reaching towards 73 Then it all changes Friday, showers in 61, a wet high in the 40s Saturday. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. This is the 5 o'clock report, 20 minutes of uninterrupted news, commercial free. I'm Jeff Kaplan. KSL's top story, an update on the woman who died after a pit bull attack in Taylorsville. Her son is now facing criminal charges. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe live with the latest. Amy? Jeff, seven counts of attacks by animal, all misdemeanors. The 38-year-old Jeremy Miller was the dog's owner. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says it's not surprising the charges aren't more aggressive. So we don't typically charge people for the conduct of their animals with something more serious than just not watching them appropriately. Scordis says the fact that the man's mother died in the attack may also impact any potential jail time because a judge could see that loss as punishment itself. The woman passed away a week after the attack in October. Officers had to shoot one of the dogs while trying to help the woman and get the dogs away. Six others were also put down by animal control. Reporting live, Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. A change in the way sexual assault is investigated within the Utah National Guard. When soldiers or airmen are accused, the investigation is now going to be handled by the State Department of Public Safety. Before this, such cases were handled by local law enforcement. One brigadier general says it was a nightmare. 
filled with long delays. Draper is having a problem not not with peeping toms, but with peeping drones. Several instances of a drone loitering near people's windows have been reported there. Lieutenant Mike Elkins told Dave and Dujanovic this morning, this is hard to track down. Trying to catch them, I mean, you can imagine there's that dot in the sky going overhead. We try to follow and see where it goes. Yeah. It's extremely difficult. At this point, Elkins says there's no way of knowing the intent of the drone operator. The White House is taking the latest bird flu outbreak seriously. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, new cases of bird flu have forced the country's largest egg producer to stop production at plants in Texas and Michigan. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the administration is keeping a close eye on it. The CDC has said the risk to human health uh, from this outbreak is low. They are continuing to monitor and will continue to coordinate with relevant agencies. The administration is also monitoring the outbreak's economic impact. Senator Bernie Sanders says that he's working with the president to lower drug prices and improve access to medications for consumers who can't afford them. Some of them will die as a result. Others get much sicker than they should, and they end up in emergency rooms or they end up in hospitals. He says lowering prices will also lower the overall cost of health care for taxpayers. And severe storms resulted in a string of tornadoes across Kentucky. Governor Andy Bashir declaring a, the, state, the state a state of emergency today. We may well be looking at seven plus different tornadoes that have touched down. Certainly a number of counties impacted one person was killed. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. The earthquake in Taiwan might impact what you buy for your next computer. After the quake, which killed at least nine people, two big computer chip manufacturers have suspended operations for a while. Bloomberg reports the company say there isn't any damage to critical tools, but a lot of the chips for Apple and NVIDIA come from these Taiwanese companies. In order to clean up the key bridge in Baltimore, work crews have to clear the twisted girders off of that ship. The bow of the Delhi container ship is sitting under hundreds of tons of twisted bridge wreckage that will have to be removed before the ship can be floated away. In order to do that, says U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath. We need to lift those undamaged containers off to give us space to safely operate, to begin to plan to remove portions of the bridge that are also now embedded into the ship. Gilruth says crews are now staged to begin lifting the first of the undamaged containers off the ship. Dave Packer, ABC News. You might not know, but on the western shore of the Great Salt Lake, Boeing tests nuclear missile systems. And despite the company's problems with commercial jetliners, they're going to continue to test nuclear missile systems on a remote thousand-acre patch of land on the other side of the lake. Boeing has just been awarded a new $400 million contract. 7200 West in Salt Lake City could be closing for the next two years. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla here. The city is considering the closure because of illegal dumping. The area from I-80 to 1300 South is covered in trash, bulky items, and even hazardous waste. Salt Lake Transportation and Public Service officials tell KSL.com the closure would deter dumping and allow for a thorough cleanup. The city would install a gate at both sides of the street, allowing access for Rio Tinto and waste management employees. KSL News Time 505. First look traffic on the 5 o'clock report. Listen up, here's Ricky Meese. Heavy residual delays northbound to I-15. We had a gravel spill in North Salt Lake right about Main Street. Had two right lanes blocked off. Those lanes of travel are open. However, we still have backups to 2100 South. Even where speeds are improving, it will take a while for these delays to clear out. Westbound delays on I-80 from I-15 to the West Belt. Eastbound delays on I-80 from Bangor to I-215. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. KSL News Time 506. The Salt Lake Utah Olympic Committee has unveiled the specific venues where the 2034 Winter Games would take place. And there are a few surprises, including the Big Air event right in the middle of downtown Salt Lake City. We've seen big air competitions in all kinds of places, including, interestingly enough, Major League Baseball stadiums. So should we get a Major League Baseball stadium that that could well be uh, well be moved? But this plan is for what what the bid can deliver at this point. And right now that would be block uh, block 85. 
that was the site of the nightly medal ceremonies in 2000. Big Air, that's where snowboarders shoot 160 feet into the air right in downtown. It's Deseret News reporter Lisa Riley Roche, who covered the Olympics in 02 and is covering them now. She says a lot of the proposed venues are going to look familiar if you remember the last Olympics here, but a big change for curling. Which had been held at the uh, Weaver Ice Sheet in Ogden and will now be moved to the uh, Salt Palace Convention Center. The reason for that, I'm told, is that the um, curling uh, sport has become more popular. They need more seats for spectators than are available at the uh, Weaver County Ice Sheet. And because that's primarily used uh, by the community, rather than invest in adding a bunch of seats that probably wouldn't be used after an Olympics, they'll build a temporary ice rink and uh, seating at the uh, Salt Palace. Read more about the venue options at kslnewsradio.com. Today was the first look at the brand new river tunnel in the Salt Lake City International Airport. Artist for the tunnel, Gordon Huther, says the tunnel is supposed to help passengers look forward to walking through the airport. Rather than waking up in the morning and looking not forward to a stressful day, you're looking forward to going in and out of this airport. The new tunnel is meant to help passengers go with the flow while they're walking to their gate in Terminal B. Airport officials say the new tunnel is expected to open October of this year. KSL News Time 508. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. Are we allowed to get excited about somebody else's solar eclipse? Because this one is not ours. Here in Salt Lake on Monday, only 48% of the sun will be covered. Compared to the last one, it's barely going to get darker. Remember the one in 2017? Almost all of the sun was covered. The sky visibly darkened. The shadows of the tree leaves looked like half moons. The birds went quiet. The dinosaurs reappeared. Or maybe that didn't happen. I don't remember. 2017 was a long time ago. We had a KSL eclipse party with those janky eclipse glasses from China. The highlight for me, Doug Wright interviewing my little granddaughter. Now, let's see. Alexa, how old are you right now? I am seven. You're seven? Yeah. Alexa just got a job. 2017 was a long time ago, but I remember my relatives back east didn't care one bit about our eclipse. I mean, I was all excited, and they were like, oh. That's nice. This time, the state of New York gets totality, and back east in the media capital of the world, New York can't stop telling us about it, even obsessing over the prison inmates who aren't permitted to see it. A group of inmates have sued New York's Department of Corrections for the right to view Monday's solar eclipse because the eclipse is a religious event. Here in Utah, we did let our inmates see the eclipse, but as far as the national media is concerned, our eclipse didn't even happen. So as the hours tick toward Monday and eclipse mania reaches fever pitch, don't succumb to the hype. I mean, they're selling Krispy Kreme Eclipse donuts. And at a well-known pizza joint, they're offering a special total eclipse of the hut. Look, it'll be worth a glimpse right before lunch Monday, but all the ooing and eyeing will be in Dallas, Cleveland, and for goodness sakes, Buffalo. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. This one's not ours. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Emergency traffic. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, please, the latest. Well, the debris has been cleared northbound I-15 at Main Street in North Salt Lake. That's the good news. But we're staying with emergency traffic because the delays are still pretty harsh and they linger all the back, all the way back to 2100 South. And you're going to see a variety of speeds from stop and go to heavy and slow and slow and go. So it's going to take you a while to get from South Salt Lake to to the north interchange. As a result, people are hopping on to I-215's West Belt now going northbound from California Avenue. It's slow all the way to Legacy and northbound on Legacy from I-215 into Bountiful. Mark? Well, you got those slowdowns. No big surprise for rush hour between Glendale, California Avenue and Kearns on the big three. Bangor 5600 West and Mountain View. Bangor continues to be pretty rough. Making your way 8600 south down to Shields Lane 98. Edward South I-15 in Utah County. Only slug right now north out above about Pleasant Grove Boulevard. Steve. Southbound 15 delays are building a bit south Salt Lake out to Draper between 45th and 106 south. 
Try northbound I-15. Uh, it's backed up now thanks to the, the, the uh, debris problem in North Salt Lake. Cut delays at 21st South into downtown to 6th South. Eastbound I-80 delays from Bangor over to the West Belt. And it's slow and go on eastbound 215 South Belt from just past Redwood to the I-15 ramps. Is it winter? Is it spring? Who cares? Come explore Logan. Baby Animal Days festivals happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and more. Explore Logan.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. As we head through the 5 o'clock hour, temperatures in the upper 60s under plenty of sunshine. We're going to stay in those 60s all the way through 6 and 7 o'clock. Low 60s for 8, upper 50s for 9, mid 50s by 10 with ultimate lows in the upper 40s. With your hourly forecast on the 5 o'clock report, I'm Kevin Eubanks. 69 degrees. Sunset is at 755, so there are lots, there's lots of time to still enjoy KSL News Time. 512, we're getting an up-close look at Hank Aaron's record-breaking home run. Maria Chaleos had a look. Jeff, video has surfaced online of Hank Aaron's record-breaking 715th home run and the celebration that followed. Now, Aaron broke Babe Ruth's record on April 8, 1974, and fan Charlie Russo was rolling at just the right moment, and he caught it all on his video camera. So now we get to the to the game, and, and it was packed. But we have good seats, and we're able to... Uh, see where Aaron, Pearl Bailey, Sammy Davis Jr., all of them were sitting. And I have my little camera, movie camera. He's coming up to bat. Oh, my goodness. I started filming, and uh, the first one was a, a ball, and then the second one, oh, my Lord, he hit it out. And now I'm figuring, oh, goodness, I got all this on my camera. On the 50th anniversary of that spectacular day, Russo decided to share his video with the Associated Press along with an interview. Now, not only does he catch the record-breaking play, but he catches the magical moments after. Now I'm going to go down to what was Pearl Bailey and all his, Sammy Davis Jr., all Aaron's family was. Yeah, he was right behind the dugout, okay? So I go down and I start the filming, and they open the gate, and they go, so I go on the field too. I mean, it's just like, uh, okay, I'm part of the family. I go on the field, and now I'm right up in his face, right where the umpire is. I'm right behind him just filming the whole thing. I think everything just sort of fell into place. You know, when he says up in his face, he is not kidding. He's right in his face capturing that huge smile. He's right there with all the team, the family, the reporters, and here's this guy, a fan, out there with his little video camera. Thank you for tipping me off to the video. I was watching for the two fans, and I saw him on his video. Mm -hmm. Two fans ran onto the field. Hank Aaron later wrote that he was scared they were going to attack him because of all the racial hate mail that he received before breaking Babe Ruth's record. They were just showing love. Yeah, they were. KSL News Time 514. Brand new feature on kids' cell phones that may protect them from sexual predators. Gab Phones now has the ability to alert parents to potential nudity on a video call. KSL TV's Dan Rascone with details about this software. According to studies, Gab says 60 to 75 percent of kids are participating in some sort of video calling service. They say with their phones, if two kids are having a conversation and if there's any type of nudity, the software will pick it up and then just down uh, or just basically shut down the call immediately. They say during testing, it was alarming the number of potential nudity cases they were that were there. The state of Utah currently has a big campaign running about kids and the dangers of social media. One of the stories we're following on the 5 o'clock report, Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter, is filled with features from artists ranging from Dolly to Willie to Post Malone. The album also features an artist with a direct tie to Utah. KSL News Radio's Adam McKennington has more. Tanner Adele graduated from Utah Valley University's commercial music program, and now she's on a Beyonce album. She was featured on Bay's cover of Blackbird, originally by the Beatles, that features three other women, Britney Spencer, Tiara Kennedy, and Raina Roberts. How'd she get the gig? When Beyonce announced her album during the Super Bowl, Adele made a bold move. She posted on X asking to collab with Beyonce. Shortly after, she was asked to add her voice to Cowboy Carter. Adele says you've VU's program helped build her confidence in her voice, a voice that was evidently confident enough to impress Beyonce herself. KSL News Time 516. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the man whose pit bulls attacked his mom in her backyard, leading to her death, is now charged. He's facing several misdemeanors of attacks by animal. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe. Second, 13 venues have been identified as Olympic venues in 2034. Much of the plan in Salt Lake City revolves around existing venues and finding unique homes for new events. 
third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. Well, traffic is moving again, but it's still a bogged down drive on northbound I-15 from 3300 south all the way to the north interchange. We're also seeing delays northbound on the west belt, California Avenue up to 12th North and Legacy packed in and slow northbound from I-215 through Bountiful. Ricky Meeson, the KSL Traffic Center. Sunny and mild today. It gets even warmer tomorrow. I'm Kevin Eubanks. 69 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Violent weather, including tornadoes, not only leaves one death and a lot of cleanup from tornadoes in Kentucky, it's interrupting work at the Baltimore Bridge Collapse, says ABC's Andy Field. Crews say it's treacherous, untangling bridge wreckage in good weather, but divers are now dealing with several storm fronts around Baltimore. That thunderstorm coming through, so we've had to pull the divers out. But once it's safe to do so, we'll get them back in the water and continue diving on those operations. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath says they're working to unload ship containers and safely move it to clear a path back to the port of Baltimore. More snow headed for parts of Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Northeast New York, up to two feet in the mountains. Ashburnham, Massachusetts Public Works Superintendent Randy Williams. We have plenty of salt ready to go. It's been a light, light winter up here. But for Ashburnham, uh, this is really no surprise for April. Uh, we've had uh, our fair share of April storms up here. President Biden touting his efforts to lower prescription drug prices, saying that the U.S. is the only developed nation where prices are bloated several times over when compared to the same medications in other nations. I'm a capitalist. Capitalism, though, without competition is in capitalism. It's exploitation. The president at a White House event with Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Three people have been arrested following a shooting that injured four people outside a bar Sunday evening, say cops in St. Petersburg, Florida. Nailed, figuratively speaking, by police in Hamilton County, Ohio, a man people arrested, or rather uh, p re police arrested, whom they say sparked many complaints by scattering nails out of a moving car on roads in Springdale and elsewhere. Paint and ultraviolet light led to his arrest. Detective Sergeant Jeff Hurd. We got some of those nails from the store. We colored them with the luminescent spray, took him back to the store, said when he comes, sell these nails to him. A mixed in for Wall Street indexes today. You're listening to ABC News. And now the in-depth on KSL. A man whose dogs attacked his own mom is now facing charges, but not necessarily because his mother died. Jeremy Miller is charged with several misdemeanors because of the animal. In documents released today, police reported having to shoot one of the dogs that attacked the woman. Former Unified Police Deputy Chief Chris Bertram says there's specific training for situations with dogs like this one. In this case where the dogs had obviously been violent toward a human being and the fact that those officers had to make a decision, you know, especially with the escaping, hey, that dog gets out and may get in the neighborhood and hurt somebody else. And to make this, you know, make a decision that, you know, they have to shoot that dog at that point is I think it's, it's a tough one because you're, you're predicting that that behavior is going to happen again, and it may or may not, but, you know, from a public safety standpoint, you know, the officer felt it was necessary. There's a, there's a type of liability pet ownership brings that many people don't recognize. Understanding that, you know, law enforcement come in contact with, you know, dogs uh, quite a bit throughout their career, and I think that, you know, it was probably about 10 years ago we implemented at the Unified Police extra training with regards to contact with dogs, you know, to give police officers the skills that allowed them to deal with those without necessarily shooting them. Um, and, but, but understanding that if you have an aggressive dog that, that, you know, there is a possibility of serious bodily injury or, you know, even in this case death, that you may have to use, you know, use deadly force against them that, that may end their, you know, end the dog's life. That's traumatic for everybody, including the officers. Um, and I think that in this case, you know, again, a good stark reminder that, you know, police officers, you know, need that training to deal with dogs, but also understanding that in these, you know, kind of extreme situations that, you know, we sometimes have to shoot those those pets. It's rare that police shoot dogs, for instance. Chris Bertram, the former Unified Police Deputy Chief, says in his career, he never had to do it, even once. You've been listening to The In-Depth Now. Emergency traffic were brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, go ahead. Well, speeds are improving, but these delays linger. Northbound I-15 from South Salt Lake now reaching into Woods Cross. And these are all residual backups from the earlier 
uh, debris in the road northbound I-15 at Main Street in North Salt Lake that had two right lanes blocked. A lot of people are avoiding northbound I-15. They're using I-215's west belt that now has northbound delays from 2100 south up to about 12th north and Legacy northbound from I-215 to Bountiful. Mark? We have now delays northbound I-15 coming up out of Lehigh, SR92 to Point of the Mountain, and it's a little bit heavier coming Lehigh Main Street down to Linden Pleasant Grove Boulevard on the southbound side of the freeway. And then there is a wreck reported down in Springville on southbound I-15, but I no longer see any of those delays. Steve. Southbound 15 uh, delays are there from South Salt Lake out to Bluffdale now between 45th and the Point of the Mountain. Uh, delays on North 15 from the Spaghetti Bowl at 21st South into downtown. Eastbound 80 delays past the airport from Bangor to the West Belt, plus more delays on the 21st South Freeway heading into Magna from 5600 West. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They have been the top roof, roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Steve Carlson, the KSL Traffic Center. The KSL 7-day forecast starts off extra warm. We've been up near 70 today. We'll go to 73 on Thursday. Compliments of the south wind with increasing clouds throughout the day. Mostly cloudy, developing valley rain and mountain snow on Friday. Cold air moves in Friday night into Saturday. That'll mix the valley rain over to snow. Generally less than an inch in the Salt Lake Valley, but the benches get 1 to 3. Northern mountains, 8 to 16. Storm will linger through Saturday night, taper off for Sunday, and then we're back to some sunshine in upper 50s and low 60s by the first to middle of next week. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubanks. 69 degrees in Salt Lake City, your seven-day forecast. Brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. The Disney proxy fight is over. I'll tell you how it turned out next. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. Sometimes I feel I've got to. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Chatbooks is a Provo-based photo book company that allows you to document your memories in physical form, and you can do it all from your cell phone. Chatbooks co-founder Vanessa Quigley joins us with more. Did you know that printed photos can strengthen your family? Working closely with two psychology professors here in Utah, Chatbooks surveyed over 30,000 families, and that's exactly what the research revealed. Reminiscing about everyday magical moments deepens connections and strengthens family bonds. Our mission at Chatbooks is to connect and strengthen families. Ten years ago, our family of nine moved from Florida to Utah to find the talent and capital that we'd need to build a business focused on family memories. And we found everything and everyone we needed right here in Utah. Now Chatbooks has a team of 150 people, and we've printed hundreds of millions of photos from millions of families all around the world. If you haven't already, download the Chatbooks app and our companion family photo sharing app called HeyFam and start chatbooking today. It's an easy and fun family memory system that will connect and strengthen your family, and I hope you'll give it a try. From monthly photo book subscriptions to special occasion collections, Chatbooks has everything you need to create a collection of good memories that looks great on your shelf. Learn more at their website. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Ah, the life of a small business owner. Keeping the lights on, calling all the shots, and then there's workplace accidents. 500 degree ovens, rusty nails, danger lurks around every corner. Workplace accidents can happen, but there is an easy way to keep your employees covered. Talk to your agent about workers' comp coverage from Pi or go to piinsurance.com and get a quote. Safety first, then Pi Insurance. Individual rates, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to policy terms and conditions. Not available in all states and situations. Join Mike Stevens of Capital Wealth Advisors for Retire Right Radio, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. That's Retire Right Radio with Mike Stevens, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. It's spring, and it feels good. Sunny and 71 on Thursday, glorious. It's the warm before the storm. By Saturday, it's cold enough that we could see the rain transitioning to snow, even for valleys. Well, for a couple of days anyway. 
Get a reliable KSL forecast for this week and conference weekend every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Uka, 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 sha. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Bob Iger for the win in a crucial vote. Shareholders back Disney's current leadership over renegade investors who wanted to replace Iger and shift the focus of the business. But it's full steam ahead for Steamboat Willie and the gang. Disney stock, though, down 3% today. In other business news, America's largest egg producer is losing millions of chickens to bird flu. You know what that means. Egg prices on the rise again. In Utah, they're now at $5.02 a dozen, unless you have your own chickens. On Wall Street today, the Dow is down 43 points, closing at 39, 127. The S&P up 5. The Nasdaq up 37 points. A bunch of TV doctors are going to remain in their practice. The hospital is staying open. Grey's Anatomy, the longest-running primetime medical drama in TV history, has been renewed for another season, season 21. The show is also ABC's longest-running primetime series in network history, not counting sports. Grey's Anatomy was the 40th most-watched show on TV last season, averaging just over 5 million viewers an episode. That's ABC's Jason Nathanson in Hollywood. Hey, Steve, have you noticed your utility bills? Mine have almost doubled. Uh, Yeah, trust me and call Brad at Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning. He got me not just a better system, but a carrier for about half the price of the big HVAC companies. You know, these super high energy systems can save thousands on utilities. And Brad showed me how to get almost $5,000 in utility and government rebates. You have their number? Uh Uh-huh. 385 Get Heat. I even heard that if you get a system before the end of the month, they'll throw in a free water heater. 385 Get Heat. Yep. Got it. Or head to GilletteServices.com. Hey, guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Salt Lake City is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Call Revive Men's Health Salt Lake City at 801-263-7777. That's 801-263-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, go ahead. For those making their way home southbound, I-15 delays as you're approaching the I-80-201 junction. But most of the slowing is scattered from South Salt Lake to Draper. I-215 South Belt seeing some slowing both directions scattered between I-15 and Redwood Road. Mark? Well, I'm just now pulling up on UDOT Jam Cam. Some trouble northbound I-15, about 4,800 north of Lehigh. This is right there prior to Point of the Mountain. That is what's causing northbound traffic to uh, slow down prior to SR-92. North and southbound delays continue on I-15 between American Fork and Linden. Steve. And you have northbound 15 delays right now between downtown and Woods Cross, all due to that earlier debris in the road in North Salt Lake, but it's uh, pretty much gone now. Pretty much back to good speeds, but traffic's still pretty heavy. After that, steady speeds all the way to Willard Bay. Backups on 215's West Belt between California Avenue at 700 North and Northbound Legacy bogged down. Woods Cross into Bountiful. Rekindle Adventure in a place everyone connects with nature, Cedar City, and Bryan Head. Shopping, dining, museum, spring skiing, tubing, hiking, biking, disc, golf, and much more. Level up your adventure. Visit CedarCity.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 5:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. We're at 69 degrees. KSL's top story: After the illegal demolition of the historic Fifth Ward Meeting House, Salt Lake City Council wants to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen again. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe reports. Council member Eva Lopez Chavez was clear on her feelings about the demolition. It is insidious, truly. And she wasn't the only one to express outrage. One public commenter, Jim Webster, says it's a tragedy. My feeling personally is that we're far too lax, that we have given the green light to too many developers, and they feel like there's, they'd much rather ask forgiveness and pay the price if necessary. And it seems that the council agrees. They're looking at several changes 
One would be an amendment to keep developers from knocking down a historic building before approval. And if they broke that rule, they'd be barred from developing anything else on the property for 25 years. Another amendment is looking at steeper fines for violations. Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. Rocky Mountain Power has decided to burn that coal. The electric company has released a new resource plan that keeps its coal burning power plants open for as long as an extra decade. The original plan called for the two plants to shut down within eight years. Make that 12 years for one plant, 18 for the other. Under this same plan, Rocky Mountain is ditching its plan to quadruple the amount of power generated by wind and solar. The Utah Court of Appeals is deciding whether a sexual assault from 1996 can still be prosecuted. The defendant claims, hey, the statute of limitations should keep me from being prosecuted. But the state is arguing this case wasn't reported till 2021. The victim reported a crime of 25 years after it's supposed to have occurred. I mean, she was 13 at the time. She reported it when she was 38. KSL legal analyst Greg Scorda says the case would be easier to prosecute today because there's no longer a statute of limitations on sexual assault involving children. The Fed chair is signaling interest rates could soon come down. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the Federal Reserve Chair, says it will soon be appropriate to cut interest rates. In a speech at Stanford University, Jerome Powell also said the Fed's interest rate decisions would not be affected by the presidential election. The Biden administration is leaning on Congress to extend a program that has offset the cost of home Internet access for more than 20 million low-income households. Money has run out for the discounts. The program's going away, and people are going to lose that lifeline. White House advisor Tom Perez says the funding is hung up in the GOP-controlled House. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is headed to China to ease tensions between the world's two largest economies. We went for too long with too little communication and misunderstandings developed. During a refueling stop in Alaska, Yellen telling reporters that the two sides have discussed in depth their economic relationship. Yellen will be advocating for American businesses, expanding cooperation between the two economies, and discussing climate change. And foreign ministers, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, are in Brussels to mark 75 years of NATO. Even as our alliance changes, its purpose remains enduring. Ours is a defensive alliance. It's never had, and it never will have, designs on the territory of any other country. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization was founded in 1949 as a collective protection against aggression from the Soviet Union. There are more than 30 member countries now on both sides of the Atlantic. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Chaleos, KSL News Radio. Wendy's learned its lesson about dynamic pricing on hamburgers. We're going to see if JetBlue can get away with dynamic pricing for your baggage. The way it'll work on JetBlue is on busy days, the price of a first checked bag will be $50. Not so busy days, $35. Those peak days, though, appear to be about half of the year, including all through the summer and around Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you notify JetBlue on its website that you plan to check a bag 24 hours before your flight, you get a $10 discount. That's ABC's Alex Stone. Out of nowhere, a 17-year-old bountiful boy suffered a heart attack. Fortunately, a highly trained expert was in the right place at the right time. That was Chief Nursing Officer Tiffany Bears who was on her way home when she saw Braden Erland on the floor surrounded by his friends. Erland was breathing when she found him, but as she gave info to the emergency operator, she noticed he stopped breathing. That's when she delivered chest compressions until EMS arrived. Bears told me she doesn't want kudos for the story, but hopes it's a good reminder that CPR can save lives. Anyone who has the option to learn CPR, do it. You never know when it's going to come in handy. We should have those skills so we can help and jump in. She also hopes people will remember to step up and be there for each other. Erland is at Primary Children's ICU waiting for a pacemaker. Eric Cabrera. KSL News Radio. KSL Sports on the heels of the most watched women's basketball game in history. Angel Reese is taking her talents to the WNBA. The LSU basketball star tells Vogue she's done at the college. She's entering the WNBA draft. Now, if you're saying Vogue, why is she talking to Vogue? Angel Reese side hustles is a pretty successful model. KSL News Time 536. Now your first look traffic. Here's Ricky. 
We have a new accident. This is at the I-15 junction at the ramp to go westbound I-80. You have a big box truck over to the left shoulder and other vehicles over to the right shoulder. And we're still waiting for officers to arrive to clear this crash. Ricky Meeson, the KSL Traffic Center. Great night to spark the grill. My Minute is on the way next. When you want a brand new kitchen, there's nothing to it. There's a brand new way to do it. Three day kitchen and bath. It's all about time. Three days or less. At Three Day Kitchen and Bath. Do you love your house and hate the thought of assisted living? Whether you're caring for a loved one in your home right now or planning to live independently in the years ahead, call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. They can completely remodel your old bathroom in just three days and back up their work with a 100% satisfaction guarantee on both their quality and craftsmanship. If all you need is a new walk-in tub or easy entry shower to make your life easier, they could do just that for you. Avoid the hassle and stress of remodeling. Check them out on the web at 3daykitchen.com. Or call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath for your free design consultation today. 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. It's about time. It's about time. Three days or less. At 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Are you prepared for an emergency or disaster? Because it's not a matter of if, but when. Don't find yourself saying, <laughs> When the storm rolls in, my time to find a pet friendly evacuation center will have run out. The scorching heat wave will leave me powerless to cool my insulin. I'll face a hurricane without meds. Now that's a tough pill to swallow. Let's prepare so we all have a better story to tell. Get started at ready.gov slash older adults. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. We have a couple nice days here. Guys, perfect night to fire up the grill. And I mention guys because in 85% of American households, it's the male holding the spatula. The man is the grill master. But why? It's not a caveman thing. Eons ago, those handsome fellas would bring home the kill and the cave ladies would do the cooking. Some theorize men learn to grill out of necessity on the battlefield. Sounds manly enough, but truth is, cooking was considered women's work till the 1920s. Enter Henry Ford, who had sawdust and wood scraps all over the floor of his car factories, so he did a deal to turn the sawdust into charcoal briquettes. Next, he started selling grills and charcoal along with his cars. Cars bought almost always by men who go home and get to play with fire. By the 1950s, the male of the species was lord of the barbecue, as explained over a backyard grill on Leave It to Beaver. Whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, You know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Now, don't shoot the messenger. But some historians say that in the kitchen, women cooked using ovens with thermostats. The recipes were precise. 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Like that. But out back, it was like the jungle. No thermostat. Cooking by looking? Uh, That looks about done. Better to be in the kitchen preparing side dishes and desserts. Now, the historians who explain this are men who are slowly ceding the tongs to their mates. An Ipsos survey shows that over the last five years, the number of women serving as family grill masters has doubled to 34%. All you beleaguered American males who think the world is closing in on you, They're coming for your tongs. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky. A crash westbound I 80 at the I 15 junction. It's on the ramp. You have vehicles to the left and right shoulders. However, traffic that's trying to go from northbound I 15 and transition to westbound. On the 201, we're seeing big backups there. Southbound I-15 delays from 33rd South to 114th South. Mark? 
Well, the wreck just pulled away northbound I-15. Now, that's going to be just prior to point of the mountain. That's what was causing some backups prior to SR-92. Rest of the delays in Utah County are peeking out right now. Unfortunately, from Pioneer Crossing down to 1600 North and Orem, both sides of the freeway messed up there. Bangor Highway is now slowest approaching 9800 South. Steve. And still a bit of a struggle if you're on uh, Northbound 15. Uh, got delays between downtown Salt Lake and Woods Cross. Then you're back to uh, good speeds all the way to Willard Bay. Uh, backups, though, continue. Northbound 215's uh, West Side Belt Route from California Avenue up to 700 North. Legacy looking better, but still some leftover slowdowns northbound in Woods Cross and southbound Foothill Drive still thick and slow from the U down to 17 South. Is the IRS harassing you? Are tax problems ruining your life? Let Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny day here in Salt Lake City with temperatures up near 70 degrees. Tonight, 49 for the low and mostly clear. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer on Thursday, high of 73. Storm will move in Friday, developing valley rain and mountain snow. The rain in the valleys will mix over to snow, especially late Friday into early Saturday when the colder air moves in. Lows dip into the 30s, generally less than an inch in the valleys, but 1 to 3 up on the benches. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. 69 in Salt Lake City. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Wednesday evening, it's 542. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. We all have those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. I mean, for you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about these dead spots. Finally. With wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices. Even when everybody's online, that's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi, only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home now through June 21st. New customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Here's what you do. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY. That's 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us Ready to wake up in a new destination nearly every day with Norwegian Cruise Line? Book today with free second guests to Alaska, Europe, and beyond. Plus, everyone can enjoy their vacation with free unlimited open bar, free specialty dining, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer ends soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Ships Registry, the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. The rest of my life gonna start today. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour first. Salt Lake City Council is looking at several amendments to increase fines and stop developers from demolishing historic buildings. This after the old Fifth Ward building was partially demolished this past weekend. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe. Second, the man whose pit bulls attacked his mom in her Taylorsville backyard, causing her death is now charged in connection with it. He faces several misdemeanors regarding attacks by animals. 
third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. That's westbound on the 201 at the I-15 junction where we have a crash. Officers have temporarily stopped all traffic to get all vehicles moved over to the right shoulder. It's backing traffic on that ramp and onto the main flow of northbound I-15 back to 4500 South Murray. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Temperatures near 70 today, windy and even warmer tomorrow. I'm Kevin Eubank. Bang, we just hit 70 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Violent weather moving through Baltimore's interrupting some of the otherwise non-stop work at the highway bridge collapse. Some of the work involves the container ship that crashed into the spans, says Rear Admiral Shannon Gilrick. We need to lift those undamaged containers off to give us space to safely operate, to begin to plan to remove portions of the bridge that are also now embedded into the ship. Another sentencing in the January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. A man from Washington State convicted of charges including assaulting police officers, accused of leading a bunch of attackers. Seven years in prison for Taylor Janatakis. Bodies of six foreign aid workers killed in Israeli airstrikes in Gaza heading home. The U.S. urges Israel to be thorough and open about investigating the incident. On her way to China, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen focus helping American businesses, expanding cooperation and climate change. This is ABC News. And now the KSL in-depth third year in a row. Arches National Park is trying out a program to stagger people coming into the park. It's called Timed Entry. You've heard of this. Karen Garthwaite with the park explains more how it works. For visitors who are planning to come to Arches National Park this summer, between April 1st and October 31st, if you want to enter Arches after 7 a.m. or before 4 p.m., so kind of that middle time during the day, you need to get a timed entry ticket reserved in advance. And you can do that online up to three months in advance. Or if you're kind of a last-minute traveler, you can even do it the night before. We put some more tickets online at 7 p.m. each night. Um, What this program means is that by staggering or spreading out visitation across the day, the time that you spend in the park is a lot more enjoyable. It's faster to get through the line in the beginning, and it's a whole lot easier to find parking once you're up inside the park. Garthwaite says Arches isn't the only park trying this out. There are actually a number of national parks throughout the system that are engaging in some kind of visitor use management, Um, especially parks around southeast Utah. A lot of us saw a big uptick in visitation around the time of COVID, but it's been happening for much longer than that. Visitation at Arches actually increased 74 percent between 2021 or 2011 and 2021, and we're not the only park. So programs like this, some kind of timed entry or other means of managing the rate of visitors coming to the park is becoming more common. And quite a lot of the parks are using the same system, recreation.gov, for their programs. So hopefully it's something visitors are going to Um, becoming more familiar with as time goes on. Reservations are now open through July, but Garthwaite says even those with last-minute plans of a shot at getting in. We are asking for folks who do some advanced planning to take care of this, book their ticket in advance, and then they don't have to worry about it. But there are some options for folks who haven't been planning three months in advance. Um, First of all, I mentioned that we do load more tickets the night before, so at 7 p.m. each night, Folks can hop on rec.gov and see what ticket slots are available for the next day. But another option, of course, is just avoiding 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Reservations can be made at recreation.gov. Thanks a lot to Karen Garthway. We appreciate it. KSL News Time 549 Emergency Traffic. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, what's going on? It's another accident and with injuries. Northbound I-15 just after 3300 South. Right lanes are blocked. And this is adding to the delays that if you continue further and try to go westbound on the 201, that crash is blocking a right lane of traffic at the I-15 junction. So on northbound I-15, the delays will start at 4500 south and continue on that ramp to go westbound on the 201. Delays southbound I-15 
from Murray at 4500 South to Draper. Mark? We're kind of maxing out rush hour delays and a couple of problems on SR 36 this afternoon headed Lake Point down to Stansbury Park on the southbound side. Very heavy and another day where we've had some trouble on the northbound side of Tooele Main Street at 10th North out west. Worst of the Bangor delays now around 134th South Cone Zones. I-15 looks slow northbound SR 92 out of Lehigh to Point of the Mountain. North and southbound delays continue between American Fork and Orem. Steve. Still have delays on northbound I-15 leaving downtown Salt Lake into uh, North Salt Lake up into Woods Cross. Then you have a pretty good drive up to uh, Brigham City, full speeds. Nothing to slow you down there. Backups on 215's West Belt persist from California Avenue up to 700 North. Northbound Legacy clearing out, but still a bit thick in Woods Cross. Now we have a vehicle fire. This is on uh, northbound SR 167, about five miles north of the I-84 junction in Morgan County. A Patriot Kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny weather today and even warmer tomorrow. South winds will pick up on Thursday and temperatures will go into the low 70s. Increasing clouds throughout the day, then developing valley rain and mountain snow on Friday. The rain will mix with snow in the valleys by Saturday. Generally less than an inch in the valleys, but one to three on the benches in the mountains. Get another nice refresher, eight to 16 inches here in northern Utah. Mostly cloudy on Sunday, but cold. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s, back to 50s and 60s next week. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Newbank. 70 degrees even, your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check on the markets in just a moment. It's 5.52 at KSL. All in all, you're just a in the wall. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio. You know that feeling? You rake up all that crud in your garden after a long, hard winter, and you give your grungy deck a good pressure wash after a long, hard winter, and then you see your air conditioner out there and think, how do I make sure the AC is okay after a long, hard winter? Whipple that away. Checking your AC in the spring to make sure it's ready for summer is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. To book your $27 AC tune-up, visit whipplethataway.com. It's going to be here before you know it. Here comes the summer, like a wave of change. Soda Weight Loss wants to help you look amazing in your swimsuit and shorts. But you got to get started right now at SodaWeightLoss.com. No time? Try Soda's at-home program with all the support you need online. I didn't realize how unhealthy I was. When you start losing the weight, even that first five pounds, this enormous amount of confidence starts to build in you. You start to realize, like, oh, this is possible for me. That's Lauren, and she let go of 35 pounds with Soda. With their help, I let go of 70 pounds in five months. That's because soda works. soda works. It's why they have more than 8,700 Google reviews and countless before and after pictures and videos of people loving their results. Get started now at sodaweightloss.com. That's S O T A weightloss.com. Sodas, say it with me. Say of the art. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Healthcare with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to j, j Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats j, &J price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try j, &J Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home. 
J&J Garden Center. The crime tore a community apart. Chad has much more likelihood of putting on a defense. Can the judge and attorneys pick a fair jury? The death penalty is going to be a huge part of this. The trial of Chad Daybell, mornings and afternoons, starting this week. Listen at home for the latest developments and in the car for updates from the courtroom here on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. A few weeks after Apple gave up on building an electric vehicle, Bloomberg reports the company is putting some effort into robots. One that can follow you around the house. Another is a tabletop robot. It's being called an Apple Moonshot project, which means it might happen, might not. Car sales across the U.S. rose almost 5% from January through March. Electric car sales were down slightly. Interesting. J.D. Power says the average sales price for a car in March, just over $44,000. And it's down nearly 4% from a year ago. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 43 points. But the S&P was up 5, the Nasdaq up 37. For most of the people that walk in our store, it's been an ongoing, nonstop issue. They're searching, they're they're grasping at straws because they've been trying other products and they've bought something that they thought was going to help solve their problem and it didn't. You're listening to Beth, an art support specialist at the Goodfeet store. A client came into my store last year that has had plantar fasciitis for 30 years. He literally walked in with a handful of products and said, this is what I've been wearing. I looked at him, I said, are you kidding me? I've been here for 14, where have you been? For over 20 years. We've been helping people live the life they love without letting their feet get in the way. I'm just sad that he spent so many years with so much discomfort. I helped relieve a problem that's plagued him for 30 years. I mean, how do you not go home and talk about that? See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1-800-NEW-FEET or visit goodfeet.com. Don't miss the incredible event sale of Dave's Bernina in Provo and St. George. Save thousands on new Bernina machines used for a recent three-day event that come with full warranties while supplies last. At Social Security, we are always thinking of ways to save you time and make things easier. That's why we created My Social Security. Opening a My Social Security account gives you secure access to your personal record and interactive tools tailored for you. You can see if you are eligible to receive benefits, view spousal benefit estimates, and compare retirement benefit estimates at different ages or dates when you want to start receiving benefits. Already receiving benefits? Use your account to change your address, set up or change direct deposit, get a proof of income letter, and more. In most states, you can also request a replacement Social Security card. Save time. Go online. Open a My Social Security account at ssa.gov slash myaccount. Social Security. Securing today and tomorrow. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Emergency traffic brought to you by Sinclair Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Stop and go delays northbound I-15 from Murray up to the I-8201 junction. In part due to the crash just after 33rd South still blocking a right lane. But the good news is if you're making that turn on the collector ramp to go westbound on the 201, that crash has been cleared. And still slowing southbound I-15 Murray through Sandy. Mark? Yeah, you still got I-15 delays southbound around Pleasant Grove Boulevard. It's sluggish, but moving northbound Geneva Road to Pleasant Grove. I'm seeing some heavy traffic, 2100 North Lehigh from the freeway. Also, Pioneer Crossing headed to Redwood Road. Steve. And we still have northbound 15 delays between downtown and Woods Cross. Backups on northbound 215's West Belt as well from 5th South up to 7 up to North. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale starting at just $39 a foot. Visit bedrockquartz.com. That's bedrockquartz.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Warm tonight. The low is going to be 50 degrees. Then tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy. The high 73. Friday, we get the showers and it starts to cool off. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good evening, 6 o'clock at KSL News Radio. I'm Jeff Kaplan, 69 degrees, KSL's top story. 
There are now criminal charges after a group of pit bulls attacked a woman in Taylorsville, leading to her death. The man who owned the seven pit bulls was the woman's son. She died a few days after the attack at the end of October. 38-year-old Jeremy Miller is charged with seven misdemeanors, one for each of the dogs. Case of legal analyst Greg Scordis says animal charges don't usually end with a jail sentence. Because the result was so egregious and that a death occurred, this might be one of those exceptions where a judge decides maybe some jail is appropriate. And it probably won't be significant, but 30, 60, 90 days for something like this where a death occurred. The pit bulls were still attacking the woman when police arrived. They had to shoot one of the dogs on scene because they feared it would actually get out and be a danger to the public. The other dogs were put down by animal control. Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. A Draper couple is warning their neighbors about a peeping drone. They say a drone appeared outside their window Monday night and just just hovered there. Lieutenant Mike Elkin with Draper Police says this is a rough case to track. The only way to really find out what the intention is is either to talk to the operator or, or catch this thing somehow and, and be able to analyze that card. Unfortunately, it's like trying to catch a bird. He says their department's trying to get the word out to the public. If you know someone who's doing this, give police a call. A bomb threat that put two St. George schools on high alert were both hoaxes. Police say they received the threat to a specific address between the schools via email. The schools were locked down as a precaution, but the lockdown was lifted quickly since the threats weren't real. Bird flu is once again threatening the nation's egg supply. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, cases of bird flu forced the country's largest egg producer to stop production of plants in Texas and Michigan. It's something White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the administration is taking seriously. One of the most important things for this administration is the health and safety of American public. And so that's how we take that very seriously. She says it will also be closely monitoring the potential economic impact. Senator Bernie Sanders says he's working with the president to bring down drug prices. At a White House event, Sanders said cutting drug prices is something all Americans can agree on. We are sick and tired of paying by far the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. He says there's also bipartisan support for cutting prices in Congress. And one person has died in Kentucky after severe storms brought a string of tornadoes to the state. Governor Andy Bashir says most of the state was affected by more than seven tornadoes. Certainly a number of counties impacted. Bashir today declaring a state of emergency. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. In Taiwan, nine are dead. Dozens are trapped inside a quarry in Taiwan after that 7.4 magnitude earthquake 24 hours ago. To give you context of how strong the shaking was, this quake was 100 times stronger than the earthquake in Magna four years ago. Yeah, this is definitely a reminder of, of what could happen here in Utah. I mean, the magnitude uh, 7.4 is similar to what we expect could be the highest magnitude uh, quake on the Wasatch Fault. Wade Matthews there from Be Ready, Utah. I told Dave and Dujanovic, if we ever get an earthquake that big here, you'll have to just ride it out. Later this month, thousands of Utahns will drop, cover, and hold on. They'll participate in the Great Utah Shakeout April 18th. A Salt Lake City road could be closing for up to two years because of a unique problem. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. The city is considering shutting down 7200 West from I 80 to 1300 South because of the consistent illegal dumping. Salt Lake Transportation and Public Service officials tell KSL.com more than 250 tons of bulky and hazardous waste has been removed from the area over the past few years. City officials say the closure would deter the dumping and the potential hazard, as well as reduce the cost of cleanup. The last two cleanups cost over $60,000 of taxpayer money. Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. A man from Honduras is facing charges in federal court after police in Magna seized more than 120 thousand fentanyl pills from his apartment. KSL.com reports Gustavo Flores Hernandez was indicted by a federal grand jury for possession of fentanyl with intent to distribute. Payson High School is trying to collect enough money and supplies to fill 5,000 humanitarian kits that will be donated through Kevin Bacon's charity called Six Degrees. That's a cute reference. 
The director of the Utah Film Commission, Virginia Pierce, says the kits will be given to local organizations. It's really meant to be, you know, a bit of an uplift and a support for whatever they're going through. It's a way of saying thank you to the Footloose star who's agreed to attend the Payson High prom, their final one in their current high school building. KSL News Time 605 now. Your first look traffic, Ricky Meese, is here. It's been a mess. It has been pretty rough. We are in emergency traffic due to a crash northbound I-15 just before 2100 south. That right lane is blocked, causing stop-and-go delays into Murray. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. My minute is on the way next. Stay right here. Does your student have a hard time getting up in the morning? or struggle to fit certain classes into a packed schedule? Consider a few online classes at Mountain Heights Academy, a tuition-free online public charter school. Any Utah student in grades 9 through 12 can replace a few traditional classes with high-quality online courses and get the best of both worlds. Their teachers have years of experience in digital education and all courses meet Utah graduation requirements. Learn more at mountainheightsacademy.org. Hi, this is Doug Wright with yet another great experiment you can try right there at home. I want you to take four bags of water softener salt, lift three of the bags with one hand, good luck on that, and one bag with your other hand. Now, if you're like most people, you'll probably find that three bags of salt weigh about three times as much as one bag of salt. And that's an important thing to keep in mind when you're shopping for a water softener. You see, Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer, their water softeners are so well designed, they use only only one bag of salt for every three that other water softeners use. Now, I can't speak for you, but I'm not a fan of lower back pain. And as our little experiment has hopefully demonstrated, carrying that one bag of salt, it's a lot easier on your back than carrying three. That's just one of the many reasons you should look into water softeners from Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. To learn more, call Connecticut of Utah, 801-576-8600, or go to softwaterutah.com you trust us for news and information in your car now trust us at home ksl news radio has you covered keeping you informed on the latest breaking news weather traffic sports and more listen on your amazon echo or google home device just say alexa open ksl news radio or listen on the ksl news radio listen app text the word app to 57500 ksl news radio we have you covered. Spend your work day with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. Here we go. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. Are we allowed to get excited about somebody else's solar eclipse? Because this one is not ours. Here in Salt Lake on Monday, only 48% of the sun will be covered. Compared to the last one, it's barely going to get darker. Remember the one in 2017? Almost all of the sun was covered. The sky visibly darkened. The shadows of the tree leaves looked like half moons. The birds went quiet. The dinosaurs reappeared. Or maybe that didn't happen. I don't remember. 2017 was a long time ago. We had a KSL eclipse party with those janky eclipse glasses from China. The highlight for me, Doug Wright interviewing my little granddaughter. Now, let's see. Alexa, how old are you right now? I am seven. You're seven? Yeah. Alexa just got a job. 2017 was a long time ago, but I remember my relatives back east didn't care one bit about our eclipse. I mean, I was all excited, and they were like, oh. That's nice. This time, the state of New York gets totality, and back east in the media capital of the world, New York can't stop telling us about it, even obsessing over the prison inmates who aren't permitted to see it. A group of inmates have sued New York's Department of Corrections for the right to view Monday's solar eclipse because the eclipse is a religious event. Here in Utah, we did let our inmates see the eclipse, but as far as the national media is concerned, our eclipse didn't even happen. So as the hours tick toward Monday and eclipse mania reaches fever pitch, don't succumb to the hype. I mean, they're selling Krispy Kreme Eclipse donuts. And at a well-known pizza joint, they're offering a special total eclipse of the hut. Look, it'll be worth a glimpse right before lunch Monday, but all the ooing and eyeing will be in Dallas, Cleveland, and for goodness sakes, Buffalo. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse.
This one's not ours. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Emergency traffic brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, the latest? We've had this accident northbound I-15 prior to 2100 south, blocking a right lane of traffic. Now, the good news is uh, a lot of the emergency crews have left, so we're not seeing big delays now that are stretching well past the south interchange because it's late in the drive but we still have traffic bogged down from 53rd to 2100 south in addition to that we have a new accident westbound i-80 at the i-15 junction and southbound i-15 heavy and slow from murray to draper mark well we got a fresh accident for you traveling northbound i-15 this one looks to be 2800 north of lehigh as you make your way to sr 92 you got some fresh delays you will see the fire engine there on the way up from Main Street, that's going to be northbound. And then southbound has been a little bit slow, but it looks like it is improving around Pleasant Grove Boulevard. And you got some Redwood Road delays, Harriet, heading into Saratoga Springs from between 2100 North Lehigh and down around Pioneer Crossing. Steve. And still sluggish on the northbound 15. Got delays from downtown at 6 North up to the North 215 interchange. Delays on northbound 215's West Belt still there from 5th South up to 700 North. And northbound Legacy still bogged down at 5th South and Bountiful. Had a vehicle fire on uh, northbound SR 167, about five miles north of the I-84 junction in Morgan County in the clearing cleanup stages. Is it winter? Is it spring? Who cares? Come explore Logan Baby Animal Days Festival happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and a whole bunch more. ExploreLogan.com. Steve Carlson, KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny day here in Salt Lake City with temperatures up near 70 degrees. Tonight, 49 for the low and mostly clear. Mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer on Thursday, high of 73. Storm will move in Friday, developing valley rain and mountain snow. The rain in the valleys will mix over to snow, especially late Friday into early Saturday when the colder air moves in. Lows dip into the 30s, generally less than an inch in the valleys, but 1 to 3 up on the benches. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. 70 degrees. Do you follow KSL News Radio on Instagram? You should. You get the news of the day, compelling Utah pictures. Our reporters actually go on there live, giving you even more about the stories we cover. So hop on Instagram, follow KSL News Radio. It's 613. It's getting time to plan summer vacation, and if you've ever thought of a luxurious trip to Hawaii, here's a -a one-of-a-kind resort to check out. The only resort in Hawaii that offers 40% off the nightly rate because you're from Utah. The resort is Kaloa Landing, and it's owned by a Utah, Bill Childs, who lives in and loves Utah. So he's sharing his resort with us at a big discount only for Utahns. Kaloa Landing is on the sunny side of Kauai, tucked into the natural tropical beauty. Luxurious studio, one, two, and three bedroom suites with full kitchen and washer dryer. Kaloa Landing is part of the prestigious autograph collection of Marriott Resorts. And it has the best pool in the USA, as voted year after year by USA Today. Lagoons, water slides, jacuzzis, and it's right near legendary Poipu Beach. All of this at 40% off the nightly rate because you're from Utah. The Hawaiian vacation of a lifetime at Kaloa Landing. The website, simple to remember, alohautah.com. That's alohautah.com. Ah, the life of a small business owner. Keeping the lights on, calling all the shots, and then there's workplace accidents. 500-degree ovens, rusty nails. Danger lurks around every corner. Workplace accidents can happen, but there is an easy way to keep your employees covered. Talk to your agent about workers' comp coverage from Pi, or go to piinsurance.com and get a quote. Safety first, then Pi Insurance. Individual rates, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to policy terms and conditions. Not available in all states and situations. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. 
If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. KSL News Time 615. The three things you need to know this hour first. A 17 year old boy in Bountiful had a heart attack and collapsed on the floor. Luckily, a healthcare professional was on her way home driving by and was able to give CPR until EMS arrived. I'm KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera. Second, Weber County Animal Services is asking for donations to help combat a parvo outbreak among their dogs. Parvo is highly contagious, a potentially deadly disease preventable with vaccination. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. Uh, we do have the crash that remains northbound to I-15 prior to 2100 south, still blocking a right lane of traffic. Then in Utah County, an accident northbound I-15, about 2800 north Lehigh. That left lane is blocked with emergency vehicles and the and the crash. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Temperatures near 70 today, windy and even warmer tomorrow. I'm Kevin Eubanks. 70 degrees now at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios and our top national stories here. From ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Coming home, the bodies of six foreign aid workers killed in Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. Israel facing a lot of pressure to investigate and tell why it happened. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. We leave it to, uh, obviously, uh, the Israeli government to do that investigation, uh, but we want to make sure that it's swift, it's comprehensive, that it's made public, and it is important. We need to uh, get to, uh, certainly get to the bottom of exactly what happened. Israel is better than the way this war is being waged. That from Jose Andres, founder of World Central Kitchen and a New York Times op-ed. Andres calling the seven of its aid workers killed in an Israeli strike in Gaza Monday the best of humanity and appealing to Israelis for peace and mercy, telling them Israel is better than blocking food and medicine to civilians and better than killing aid workers who had coordinated their movements with the Israel Defense Forces. ABC's Dave Packer. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei says he will make Israel repent for what he calls its crime of aggression in attacking the Iranian consulate in Damascus Monday, the Ayatollah posting on X. The work by divers and construction workers at the Baltimore Highway bridge collapse has been almost nonstop. That thunderstorm coming through, so we've had to pull the divers out. But once it's safe to do so, we'll get them back in the water and continue diving on those operations. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilraith, Kentucky's cleaning up after a bunch of tornadoes ripped through. Storms expected to dump a lot of snow on New England. When bumpy is too bumpy, it was Monday, says ABC's Alex Stone. While flying between New Orleans and Orlando, Southwest Flight 4273 hit turbulence. A captain declared an emergency and the plane diverted to Tampa. Two people on board were injured. After about four hours on the ground, Southwest says it inspected the plane and it was safe to fly, so the flight took off again for Orlando. A Texas National Guard soldier was arrested Sunday on human smuggling and evading arrest charges, says the state's Department of Public Safety. You're listening to ABC News. And time for the KSL In-Depth. The Utah Court of Appeals heard arguments today in a case about a rape that happened in 1996, but wasn't reported till 2021. The accused's attorney argues that the statute of limitations is passed. He should be off scot-free. But the state says, wait, they had four years to prosecute the case since it was reported in 2021. Our KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis unravels this, explaining the significance of this case to Maria Chaleos on Utah's New News. The statute of limitations applies and, and what the law was at the time the offense is alleged to have occurred. So today, uh, sex crimes against children, there is no statute of limitations. But back in 96, when this crime is supposed to have occurred, the victim was 13 years old. And at that time, the statute of limitations read, the statute of limitations was four years after it's reported. And it's, that's important because when you deal with children, they often don't report right away. So the legislature said, well, we'll give them four years after they report. So the question for the court was, she reported it in 2021. He was charged that year. That seems fairly straightforward. It was, But they found out that another victim of the same man had reported that she had been sexually assaulted back in 1998, and she reported that this same victim that we're talking about here was assaulted. And so 
the defense argued, well, wait a minute, there was a report made, even though it wasn't by the victim, it was by another victim. So officers had, that's when their four-year clock started. But the state's saying, well, it wasn't really a report, it was just an allegation. The victim didn't report it, and so it shouldn't apply. He says the Court of Appeals job today was to weigh whether or not the statute of limitations started in 2021 with the accusation or 1996 when the friend first reported it. KSL News Time 620, traffic and weather together. We are brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, go ahead. Northbound I-15, we still have crews on the scene clearing this crash prior to 2100 South. The right lane is still blocked, and that's what's causing backups past 4500 South. Traffic easing and easing quickly on southbound I-15. A few spots of heavy, heavy and slow traffic left over, scattered between the south interchange and 114th South, clear on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. Mark? Yeah, it's looking a little bit better as well. Northbound I-15, the lighter volume headed towards the end of rush hour, but you will pass an incident management vehicle still on the scene, mostly off to the left, dealing with some trouble northbound I-15, just uh, right at about SR-92. This is going to be closer to 2800 north in Lehigh. The southbound traffic is sluggish, but recovering at Pleasant Grove Boulevard. Steve? Well, up on the north end tonight, good news. I-15 back to wide open speeds, crash-free between downtown Salt Lake and South Willard. All clear on Legacy and the 215 West Side Belt Route. For a top quality kitchen or bath with top quality craftsmanship, call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath or always on time with no delays and meet all deadlines. Visit 3daykitchen.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny weather today, but the winds will pick up tomorrow. It'll make it even warmer, 73 for the high in Salt Lake under mostly sunny skies. Storm will move in Friday, developing valley rain and mountain snow in northern Utah, and then a rain-snow mix in the valleys by Saturday morning. That'll bring anywhere from a half inch to an inch in Salt Lake City. Benches get a little more. The northern mountains, 8 to 16 inches. Storm will linger through early Sunday morning in the mountains, and then it's all gone, but it stays cold. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s for Sunday. Back to some sunshine in 50s and 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. 70 degrees, your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check the markets next. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. Darling, you got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? If you say that you are mine, I'll be here till the end of time. So you got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? A wise sage once said, a home is a work in progress. Obviously a sage who lived in a three bedroom fixer upper. When you own a home, you know you're gonna personalize it to make it yours which makes good business sense as well when it's time to sell. So start with the folks who can make the magic happen. Hercules Credit Union. A Hercules Credit Union home equity line of credit is just 3.99% for six months, which means let the changes begin. Invest in the maintenance projects you've been putting off, going solar, remodeling the bathrooms, building a new deck, or maybe adding another bedroom as the family grows. Hercules will loan up to 80% loan to value on your home. There's no origination fees either, and it's as simple as using your Visa card for easy access to funds. Get details now at HerculesCU.com. HerculesCU.com. Hercules Credit Union. Growing stronger together. Rates based on approved credit. Equal housing lender. All accounts insured to $250,000 by NCUA. Hi, everyone. It's Congressman Blake Moore here, representing Utah's priorities in Congress and providing top-notch constituent services at the heart of everything Team Moore does. We've had great success helping Utahns with expedited passports, visa processing, veterans benefits, immigration petitions, retirement issues, tax returns, and much more. If you need help navigating a federal agency, including the IRS, Social Security, the VA, Immigration Services, or Medicare, please give my office a call at 801-625-0107. That's 801-625-0107. We're also happy to help coordinate U.S. Capitol tours, take your comments, and provide legislative updates anytime. I also want to invite you to sign up for my weekly e-newsletter. We are soon entering what is called the political blackout period leading up to the primary election, meaning my office cannot reach out with updates and announcements unless you are subscribed to our communications. So sign up today at blakemore.house.gov. 
It's our honor to serve you and your family in Congress. Thank you. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. At Social Security, we are always thinking of ways to save you time and make things easier. That's why we created My Social Security. A My Social Security account allows you to access your earnings history and benefits information, request a replacement Social Security card, get a proof of income letter, estimate and apply for benefits, and more. Save time. Go online. Open a My Social Security account at ssa.gov slash myaccount. Social Security. Securing today and tomorrow. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. <laughs> We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Everybody's hoping for an interest rate cut in June. Keep hearing June, June. Fed Chair Jerome Powell says, hang on to the question that everyone asks. When are you cutting rates? He says, the Fed's in no hurry. We'd like to do it heading into summer, but we need to see solid signs. The economy is cooling off a bit so far. It's not. Maverick has rebranded 30 come-and-go convenience stores in Utah and Colorado. They're now Mavericks. The company bought Come and Go last year. KSL.com is reporting the next Maverick might expand into the Midwest. Computer chips for AI are all the rage on Wall Street. The NVIDIA stock has gone wild, but Intel wasn't invited to the party. The company announced today it suffered a $7 billion operating loss last year. Intel stock down 8% today. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 43 points at 39, 127. But the S&P was up five. The NASDAQ gained 37 points. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up! and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Need to replace your Social Security card? In most states, you can request one online with a My Social Security account. A My Social Security account gives you secure access to your personal earnings history and benefit status. You can also get a proof of income letter, estimate and apply for benefits, and more. Save time. Go online. Open a My Social Security account at ssa.gov slash my account. Social Security. Securing today and tomorrow. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Artillery fire in Europe. Russia launching its biggest missile attack. Gunfire maimed soldiers and civilians in the Middle East. Humanitarian crisis. And at home, we can barely stand in the same room. We've never been more divided. This spring... Start over. The 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This Saturday and Sunday at 10. In your car at 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. On every smart speaker and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. It's traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Lingering delays northbound I-15 from an accident prior to 2100 south with the backups to 4500 south clear on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. A crash called out on 6200 south about 4200 west. Mark? Careful for a wreck. It is lingering on the northbound side of I-15 coming up through Lehigh. Don't see any delays, but it's going to be there in the left lane that's right around SR-92. Steve? Good speeds north and southbound 15 right now. Steady and smooth between downtown Salt Lake and Brigham City. Same goes for uh, 215's west side belt route, Legacy. And for those on Highway 89 in South Weber, got a nice drive between Lagoon and the I-84 Rams. The best kept secret is this is the pass. It's a pass for fun for everyone. Now through April 30th, save $20 off every annual pass level. 362 days of fun. Visit thisisthepass.com. Steve Carlson, the KSL Traffic Center. 
been a beautiful day with tons of sunshine. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Overnight, mostly clear and 49 for the low. South winds will pick up during the day on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. Generally, temperatures will get even warmer, 73 for the high in Salt Lake. Developing valley rain on Friday, mixing with rain into snow Saturday. And temperatures crash into the 40s for highs with lows into the 30s for the weekend. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. It's 6:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. We're at 70 degrees in Salt Lake City. KSL's top story. After the partial demolition of the old Fifth Ward Church building, Salt Lake City Council is looking at increasing fines. Just doing something about this happening again. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe reports. The council is looking at several amendments to tighten control of historic buildings and districts. One would bar developers from knocking down anything without approval. And instead of just fines, which they noted in their meeting isn't doing enough, they'd also keep the developer from building anything new on the property for 25 years. These amendments were already in the works, but were moved up to this month on the agenda after that Fifth Ward building demolition. The council will now hold a public hearing on the issue two weeks from now. More cities have homes that average a million dollars plus. That's from a new Zillow study. Utah has six communities where the average home is worth a million. Park City, Alta, Granite, Alpine, West Mountain in southern Utah County, and Camas. Zillow says across the country, 550 cities have million-dollar average-priced homes. It's a sign of how competitive the housing market is, no matter how high the interest rates. And there's a new sign that loan and credit card rates, at the very least, will get cheaper this year. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell telling an audience at Stanford University that the Fed is likely to reduce its benchmark interest rate later this year. Now, he says an uptick in inflation doesn't change the overall picture of solid growth. Powell is also dispelling rumors that the Fed's decision will be affected by the presidential election. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is on her way to China for a week of bilateral meetings. During a refueling stop in Alaska, Yellen telling reporters the two sides have discussed in depth their economic relationship. We think we both benefit from trade and investment, but that it needs to be in a level playing field. Yellen will be advocating for American businesses, expanding cooperation between the two economies, and discussing climate change. The Biden administration is pushing Congress to extend a program that has offset the cost of home internet access for more than 20 million low-income households. White House advisor Tom Perez says the hang-up is with the GOP-controlled house. There's over 100,000 users of this program in the Speaker's District. Money has run out for the program, which provides discounts for internet access up to $75 a month for low-income families. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Chaleos, KSL News Radio. They're trying to get it done, but severe weather is slowing crews from clearing the main shipping channel into Baltimore Harbor. Crews say it's treacherous, untangling bridge wreckage in good weather, but divers are now dealing with several storm fronts around Baltimore. That thunderstorm coming through, so we've had to pull the divers out. But once it's safe to do so, we'll get them back in the water and continue diving on those operations. Rear Admiral Shannon Gilreath says they're working to unload ship containers and safely move it to clear a path back to the port of Baltimore. Andy Field, ABC News. KSL News Time, 633. An 80-year-old American woman was killed by a bull elephant while on what's called a game drive in a national park in Zambia over the weekend. A game drive gets you much closer to the animals, more close than a normal safari. ABC's James Longman says video of this incident shows this elephant chasing the vehicle the woman was in. You can tell that those inside the cart know something is up. It looks like the elephant is chasing this cart. You can hear voices on board. The guide uh, seems like he knows that there, there is an issue. And, and the elephant looks like it's chasing them. We know that the elephant picked this cart up twice, smashed it down uh, on the ground, and very sadly, uh, an 80-year-old woman, an American tourist, was killed. The other female guest aboard that game drive was hurt. KSL News Time, 634. The U.S. Department of Health is releasing new guidelines about sensitive exams. Hospitals now have to give written consent for a pelvic, breast, or prostate exam 
especially if the patient's going to be under anesthesia for the exam. A nurse who happened to be in the right place at the right time is being praised because she saved the life of a 17-year-old boy suffering a heart attack in Bountiful. Braden Erland, one day after his 17th birthday, was out with friends in Bountiful and felt chest pain while getting out of his car. At that moment, he fell down and hit his face on a brick wall and collapsed. Luckily, Chief Nursing Officer Tiffany Bears was on her way home when she noticed what was happening and jumped out her car to help. While she was on the phone with the emergency operator, Erlen stopped breathing. And at that point, I turned him over and just started compressions. I could hear sirens in the background at that point as well and just continue to do compressions until EMS got there. Bears urges everyone to get CPR training because you never know when someone else will need it. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. First look traffic now. Ricky Meese is here. Are things finally winding down? They are. The crash that we had northbound to I-15 prior to 2100 South has cleared. Traffic is starting to move. We still have a little bit of delay. And the accident on I-15 in Lehigh, that's also being moved off the roadway, and all lanes are opening up. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. My Minute of News is on the way next. Stay right here. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. 5174. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and there's a good chance you've heard me talking about our free furnace sale. The one where you buy a new air conditioner and we give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. Well, we still have a few more spots on our schedule we need to fill, so I'm extending the sale, but I'm not quite sure for how much longer. Definitely no later than April 30th, and once I think our schedule's full enough, I gotta pull these ads, so don't wait too long to call and schedule your free estimate. The main reason we do this sale is to give you an incentive to help us keep our guys busy when the weather's mild. And thanks to your help, we're able to keep our guys and keep growing. So if your furnace and air conditioner are ready to be replaced, you owe it to yourself to at least schedule a free estimate and get all the details about our free furnace sale. Just to recap, when you have any hour services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. The furnace is free, you just pay the labor. If you think you might be interested, call any hour services at 801-443-7400. You can Google any hour services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than any hour services. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. We have a couple nice days here. Guys, perfect night to fire up the grill. And I mentioned guys because in 85% of American households, it's the male holding the spatula. The man is the grill master. But why? It's not a caveman thing. Eons ago, those handsome fellas would bring home the kill and the cave ladies would do the cooking. Some theorize men learned to grill out of necessity on the battlefield. Sounds manly enough, but truth is, cooking was considered women's work till the 1920s. Enter Henry Ford, who had sawdust and wood scraps all over the floor of his car factories, so he did a deal to turn the sawdust into charcoal briquettes. Next, he started selling grills and charcoal along with his cars. Cars bought almost always by men who go home and get to play with fire. By the 1950s, the male of the species was lord of the barbecue, as explained over a backyard grill on Leave it to Beaver. Whenever we cook inside, Mom always does the cooking. But whenever we cook outside, you always do it. How come? Well, it's sort of traditional, I guess. Uh, You know, they say a woman's place is in the home, and uh, 
I suppose as long as she's in the home, she might as well be in the kitchen. Now, don't shoot the messenger. But some historians say that in the kitchen, women cooked using ovens with thermostats. The recipes were precise. 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Like that. But out back, it was like the jungle. No thermostat. Cooking by looking? Uh, that looks about done. Better to be in the kitchen preparing side dishes and desserts. Now, the historians who explain this are men who are slowly ceding the tongs to their mates. An Ipsos survey shows that over the last five years, the number of women serving as family grill masters has doubled to 34%. All you beleaguered American males who think the world is closing in on you, they're coming for your tongs. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. We're brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, what's going on? All clear. Southbound I 15 from downtown to the point of the mountain. Northbound I 15. There still may be a little bit of busy traffic in South Salt Lake up to the I 80 201 junction. But it's easing quickly as well, and you're looking at a good drive on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. Mark? It's been a little troublesome of late on Redwood Road. It looks like severe delays coming down around Medical Drive, according to UDOT Jam Cam. Saratoga Springs right there at Main Street and Lehigh. Both directions are extremely heavy. That's again on Redwood Road this afternoon. The freeway itself, I-15 in Utah County, looks much better, as does Bangor, 5600 West, and Mountain View through West Valley. Steve? Well, plan on full speeds on 15. Uh, crash free to both north and southbound between downtown Salt Lake and Willard Bay State Park. Same smooth drive on 215's West Side Belt Route and the legacy between I 80 and Park Lane in Farmington. Don't miss the Bedrock Course Cash Bonus Event. Get 8% same as cash allowance or 12%. Or 12 months, 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertops, sinks, and more. Visit bedrockquartz.com. Steve Carlson at the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny day today with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Tonight, 49 for the low. It gets even warmer on Thursday. Compliments of the south wind, 20 to 30 miles an hour. Temperatures will go into the low 70s under mostly sunny skies. Increasing clouds throughout the day, mostly cloudy with developing rain on Friday. It'll mix with snow overnight Friday. Friday into Saturday, generally less than an inch in Salt Lake City, but the mountains get 8 to 16 inches. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. It's 70 degrees. Shut the curtains. There's a peeping drone in Draper. Full details on the creepy situation coming up. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com or on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 642. Gonna be here before you know it. Here comes summer, like a wave of change. So the weight loss wants to help you look amazing in your swimsuit and shorts, but you gotta get started right now at sodaweightloss.com. No time? Try Soda's at-home program with all the support you need online. I didn't realize how unhealthy I was. When you start losing the weight, even that first five pounds, this enormous amount of confidence starts to build in you. You start to realize like, oh, this is possible for me. That's Lauren, and she's let go of 35 pounds with soda. With their help, I let go of 37 pounds, and I've kept it off for over two years now. That's because soda works. It's absolutely changed my life. Soda helps you break food addictions and get healthy for the rest of your life. It's why they have more than 8,700 Google reviews and count before and after pictures and videos of people living the results every single day. Go to SotaWeightLoss.com. That's S-O-T-A WeightLoss.com. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to j and Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats j and price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, 
Come and try J&J Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Tim and Amanda. I don't want to be in the dark about things. I'm sure you don't either, Tim. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to know what's going on with the weather. Are my kids safe? You know, where is my money going? I want to be informed. Yeah, the truth is it's important information for you and your families to make sure that you are informed so that if some changes are necessary in your life or your children's life, you can make them by listening and starting your morning with us here on KSL. Wake up with Utah's morning news with Tim and Amanda, 5 to 9 on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time, 645. The three things you need to know this hour first. Payson High School has almost reached their goal of fundraising and donations to make 5,000 humanitarian kits in honor of Kevin Bacon coming to prom. I'm KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson. Second, a new Zillow report says more cities across the U.S. have an average home price of a million dollars than ever. Six Utah cities made the list, including, well, you know, Park City, Alta, Granite, Alpine. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. We don't have any on the Valley freeways. We have cleared out of all delays and problems, including I-15, both directions between Ogden and Provo. But we do have some heavy backed up traffic on Redwood Road at Saratoga's at Saratoga Springs. Keep an eye out for delays in the area. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunshine today, even warmer weather tomorrow. I'm Kevin Eubanks. 70 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. More public pressure on Israel to get answers and make them public on the Israeli airstrike in Gaza that killed aid workers associated with Chef Jose Andres' World Central Kitchen. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre. We are going to continue to mourn uh, with them, with them. With, the, with Chef Jose Andres and obviously the families. Uh, I'm just not going to, he's going to speak for himself. Uh, we are very clear about where we stand. Bad weather has hindered operations at the site of the Baltimore Highway Bridge collapse. It's dark and dangerous work for divers. Former President Trump is not immune from prosecution in his New York election interference hush money case, partly because he waited too long to invoke that defense, says the judge. To highlight decreases in violent crime around the country and announcing a surge of investments and resources to further help Attorney General Merrick Garland visiting Chicago. This is ABC News. And now the in-depth on KSL, peeping drones, replacing peeping toms. We've been following this situation today where a Draper couple reported a drone hovering outside their window, then moving on to other homes in the neighborhood Draper Police Lieutenant Mike Elkin joined Dave and Dujanovic this morning saying, this is a difficult case to track down. You become aware of at least a couple different instances. First one a couple weeks ago, um, we had one of our local hotels uh, call reporting a very similar thing, seeing a drone in broad daylight uh, going from window to window before it, it uh, took off over the freeway and was, wasn't to see, be seen again. You know, this is such a bizarre thing. It's, it's, it's very new. Um, for a couple hundred dollars, anybody can get a hold of these things. And, and what they can do and what they can see, you know, it, it's almost limitless anymore. The technology just keeps advancing. The technology just keeps getting better. It's easier to fly further. Trying to catch them, I mean, you can imagine there's that dot in the sky going, overhead we try to follow and see where it goes it's extremely difficult yeah well you know it would be nice to talk to these drone operators and find out what their intentions are because i I can't think of very many legitimate purposes for peeking into somebody's window Um, most of the equipment do carry uh camera cards uh sim card type things on board where it would be actually very easy to record while yeah. these are happening. Um, and, the, and the only way to really find out what the intention is is either to talk to the operator or, or catch this thing somehow and, and be able to analyze that card. Unfortunately, it's like trying to catch a bird. You know, they're, they're yeah. really difficult. It's difficult to do. So, we, you know, we try to get the word out to the public that if, if you know someone who's doing this or you've, you've seen your neighbor do it or you know that it's happening somehow, give us a call. He says in Utah, by the way, again, Draper Police Lieutenant Mike Elkin, he says in Utah, 
This type of invasion of privacy is a violation of state law. You've been listening to the in-depth of 15 and 45. Your traffic and weather together now brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Let's see if we get the happy ending, Ricky. We do. We definitely have a happy ending. All clear on your Salt Lake County freeways. We're back to good speeds throughout our main secondaries in Salt Lake County are also looking good. Mark? Yeah, it's a little bit heavy as you make your way Redwood Road between 2100 North Lehigh down to Main Street and towards Saratoga Springs. Mainly it's that southbound, but northbound's also heavy coming up Saratoga Springs to Lehigh Main Street as well. But I-15 in Utah County long since has cleared, as has all of the big three, West Valley Drive, Mountain View, Bangor Highway, and... uh, 5600 West, Steve. Yeah, same story on the north or southbound 15 right now between downtown Salt Lake and Brigham City. Wide open, full speed, same for Legacy and Highway 89. Uh, 215 West Side Belt, all clear as well. Steve Carlson and the KSL Traffic Center. Beautiful sunny weather today and even warmer tomorrow. South winds will pick up on Thursday and temperatures will go into the low 70s. Increasing clouds throughout the day, then developing valley rain and mountain snow on Friday. The rain will mix with snow in the valleys by Saturday. Generally less than an inch in the valleys, but 1 to 3 on the benches in the mountains. Get another nice refresher, 8 to 16 inches here in northern Utah. Mostly cloudy on Sunday, but cold. Highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s, back to 50s and 60s next week. From the KSO Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful most days. I don't want to leave at the end of the show, but I have to admit it looks really nice out there. 70 degrees in Salt Lake City. We'll check the markets next. Afternoon news on KSL News Radio. You know that feeling? It's kind of hot in the afternoon, and you hear the air conditioner kick in, and you think, there we go. And then you wait for a bit, but you don't feel any cold yet. So you go put your hand right in front of it, and sure enough, even with all that noise, it's just regular air coming out instead of cold. Whipple that away. Fixing air conditioners that don't make cold is my job. Make your problem my problem. Whipple Service Champions. Call today and ask about our next day installation or visit whipplethataway.com. It's been a rough winter for sure, but visitors are flocking to Box Elder County. Our feathered visitors, that is. Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge is busy hosting swans to swallows, geese to grebes. The spring migration is in full swing and all that's missing is you. Box Elder County really is for the birds. Just a short 60 minutes north of Salt Lake, Box Elder County is the perfect place to make memories and celebrate spring, along with spending time with our feather friends. You'll experience amazing restaurants and unique shopping. Come take a soak at Crystal Hot Springs, home to the highest mineral content of any natural hot springs in the world. Let the winter melt away as you relax and rejuvenate. Take in a theater performance at one of the live theaters or visit one of the fine museums. Visitors really are chirping all about Box Elder County. Check out visitboxeldercounty.com and see why Box Elder County is for the birds. That's boxeldercounty.com. Held over due to popular demand. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Save thousands on hot tubs and swim spas. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Utah State Fair Park. Hot tubs discounted 40 to 80% to the lowest possible price. Starting at $29.99. Free professional delivery. Take possession tomorrow, next week, next month, or next season. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Shop over a dozen models of swim spas from 11 feet to over 19 feet. Swim spas offer low impact exercise, active family fun, unsurpassed relaxation, and installation in one day. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Everything must go. Free parking, free admission. You can't afford to miss this. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in stock spas. Friday, noon to 8 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The hot 
Tub and Swim Spa Sale, Utah State Fair Park. Visit HotTubAndSwimSpaSale.com. It's spring, and it feels good. Sunny and 71 on Thursday, glorious. It's the warm before the storm. By Saturday, it's cold enough that we could see the rain transitioning to snow, even for valleys. Well, for a couple of days anyway. Get a reliable KSL forecast for this week and conference weekend every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Bob Iger for the win in a crucial vote. Shareholders back Disney's current leadership over renegade investors. The renegades wanted to replace Iger and shift the focus of the business, but it's full steam ahead for Steamboat Willie and the gang. But Disney's stock on the vote was down 3% today. America's largest egg producer is losing millions of chickens to bird flu. It's kicking up again, and you know what that means. Egg prices are on the rise, even after Easter. Egg prices in Utah now at $5.02 a dozen, unless you have your own chickens. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 43 points today, closing at 39,127. But the S&P was up five. The NASDAQ gained 37 points. KSL News Time 656. Nationally, economists think retiring baby boomers downsizing their homes could be the rapid solution to the housing shortage. Dayon Eskich with the Kemsey Gardner Policy Institute says that's not the case here in Utah. Part of the reason is we've become accustomed to larger houses than we grew up in. Going to a crowd of people in their 50s and 60s and ask them if they grew up in a house with three or four bedrooms and 2,000 square feet, and majority of people will raise their hands. We've lost that aspect of our culture. Everybody sort of wants more space or expects more space. He says even though boomers might want single-level homes where they don't have to go up and down stairs as they get older, they're not willing to give up the space they're used to, so they're not moving out of the houses they already have. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. And now another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. Marcus, what happened? I was changing my oil and I spilled some on the floor. Oh, we well use these fifty-dollar bills to wipe it up. Perfect. Got any more? Yeah, yeah. Take a couple hundred. Stop. Instead of using money, use an old rag. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. My doctor told me my cholesterol is borderline. So I took control with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula. Garlic helps maintain healthy cholesterol safely and naturally. It's odor and taste free. And Garlic is a world leader in garlic potency. I'm taking charge of my cholesterol with Garlic Healthy Cholesterol Formula, cholesterol's natural enemy. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The term natural reference is only the garlic in the product. Use as directed. Hi, this is Julie from the Visitors Bureau in Logan, and things are looking up. The sun is out, and you should be too. Spring break is just around the corner, so book your stay, pack your bags, and come and play. We're kicking off spring break with the annual original Baby Animal Days at the American West Heritage Center. You'll be spread out over 160 acres of beautiful scenery while you pet all the baby animals like lambs, goats, piglets, bunnies, and chicks. March 28th through the 30th also features exotic animals. You can see baby bears from Yellowstone Bear World April 3rd through the 6th, which is also when Baby Animal Days combines with the annual Mountain Man Rendezvous. Watch demonstrations like flint and steel, fire starting, bullet making, and leatherworking, and scrimshaw. Wait, do you even know what that is? It doesn't matter. Come and see at the American West Heritage Center. Logan has so many great things to do. Come for spring break or any time you need a break. Vacation in Logan. Just get in the car. ExploreLogan.com. ExploreLogan.com. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes were brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. You're good to go if you're traveling any of the Salt Lake County freeways all clear of delays and crashes, good speeds throughout the valley. Mark? Yeah, same down in Utah County. We've had a lot of problems and a lot of delays on I-15. Your slowest traffic is going to be struggling to Saratoga Springs tonight on Redwood Road down around 2700 North. Steve? Well, no wrecks, no delays. Traveling both directions of I-15 tonight between uh, downtown Salt Lake City and Brigham. Same smooth drive on 215's Westbelt. Legacy looking good. Highway 89's all clear. Same for the West Davis Highway. 
Get Mr. Max Performance Missionary Package, including one performance suit, four and collar stretch shirts, three ties, one mission belt, one pair of Echo or Johnson & Murphy shoes, just $595. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. It's going to be warm tonight. The overnight low, 50 degrees. We haven't seen that in quite some time. For tomorrow, it's going to be partly cloudy. The breeze begins to kick up. 73 for the high. That breeze will usher in cooler weather Friday. We get showers and we'll hit 61 degrees. Saturday, it's a wet high in the 40s. Big change in the weather. We'll catch you tomorrow afternoon. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. Listen at home on any smart speaker. And in your car at 102.7 FM. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock at KSL News Radio. I'm Emma Keddington. KSL's top local story this hour. The son of the woman who died after a pit bull attack in Taylorsville is now facing criminal charges. Seven counts of attacks by animals. These are all misdemeanors. KSL legal analyst Greg Scordis says it's not surprising the charges aren't more more aggressive. So we don't typically charge people 